for does anybody know the verbiage for things where it's like oh the the creature's choice whether they make a strength or dexterity check to combat something i think it's strength or anyway hey we're live what's up everybody <laughs> and we were just doing some rural stuff welcome to <coughs> pirates we are having some fun here and our crew is up on the high seas and who having escaped from the island of the lady last session and saying their goodbyes to East Mora and uh, Biatet, they have been figuring out what to do next. We had some drama where Renestio unexpectedly attacked Thola, uh, seemingly trying to end her life, having made sure that she had no way to contact any of her shipmates only to find out that when she tried to do the feeble strike back that he put himself in the way of the blade and allowed her sword to absorb his undead life and thus awaken with the power of the sun so that has happened Cassandra is now Cassandra and Mao are now uh, official Official, <laughs> Massandra, uh, Cassandra. Wait, we we get a name. Like, <laughs> got a ship on a ship. Well, you can't call <laughs> That's my name. That. <laughs> but today is actually a bright, sunny day. Uh, going on the Lucidian Ocean. You have some issues. There are seagulls ahead. Waves are crashing by. Sun is just in the morning position as you are awakening, finding your way at your usual duties. And now it's up to you what to do next. Where will you go? So, what would you like to do? Uh, if I can continue with my path to Tonk's room, not Pyro's, um, I'll knock on the door and see if he answers. I've like, assuming he, assuming he wasn't on deck when I initially uh, sure. pinned us up, Scotty. You said Tonx was into the matrix of the Kestrel? Uh, I'll, I'll disconnect from the Kestrel and answer the door. I just, like, put a note in front of you and it says it's essentially from Renesteel saying that these are the pieces that will give me... How many pieces was it? Was it just one? Um, they were three pieces, Renesteel. Three had. pieces. Um, it basically says these oh, are the pieces that will grant me back my sight. Uh, I didn't want to be hasty and just stick them into my sextants. I know that they can individually do things outside of the sextants, so I wanted you to determine what those things are before, though, granted, unless it's something extremely potent that we can do and then I can regain my sight, I'd very much like to just regain my sight. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, let me, uh, let me go ahead and take a look at them. Um, I, I, I take a half, half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and I identify all three of these things. I'm just there, like, fiddling with Bingle's pink taffy pistol, like, trying to understand how it converts the, uh, or makes the taffy. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, the first one of these... Uh, and this is the one, the first one you identify is the actual one that um, will fit in the sextant. Or at least that the sextant pointed to, uh, essentially. So, <laughs> so theoretically, this is the one that gives Calder back his sight? Yes. And what does it do? That one. I quickly go over to my stuff. Um, he hides it. <laughs> Obviously a trap. Okay. Um, that, when placed in a um, 
appropriate vessel uh, of water creates a scrying pool. Oh. So, thus doing it, a character who spends at least one hour meditating by the scrying pool is granted glimpses into the future. Oh. These visions then grant them a control over their fate. At any point in the next 24 hours, the character can choose to reroll any die they make. Once this power is used, they cannot regain it for another 24 hours, and only one character may benefit from this power at a time. It can also do Waters of Sight. Taking a cup fill from this, uh, if you take a cup, it retains its properties, and once during a 24-hour period, the character can pour the liquid into a cup or a dish to cast Clairvoyance. All right. If you put the receptacle down, the spell ends. All right, so if you're going to carry it, you got to actually carry it the whole time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and uh, what is... Do, do I get an impression for what I think it might do put in the sextant? Uh, that's what it does put in the sextant. Okay. Uh, the... I'm sorry, yes. You're right. I was just being nice. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to give it to you because I identify it. I would say you, you all have experience with these now. And we've made a lot of checks. Like once someone makes three or four checks and we succeed, it's kind of like, okay. I think I think Toc knows how to work with these. Um, what it's able to do... Um, so put in the sextant, essentially... Um, actually, you're correct. This put in a um, pool of water creates that. As long as it's in the thing of water and creates a scrying pool. Uh, once That's what I was right the first time. Once it goes in the sextant, uh, it can um, point to essentially... It functions kind of like uh, the Wayne or wheel spell. You basically ask the sextant, I like basically tell the sextant, I want to go a place where this can happen. It's be a sort of course of, of action. It can't be something like where we would kill someone, but you could say where the most advantageous place to engage somebody would be. Um, and it would it kind of takes all in, all present information and points, but it does not predict the future. Okay, and that's as, useful. As a reminder, uh, once the section is completed, it doesn't necessarily do any of its abilities anymore. Do we know what would happen to the sextant once it's like fulfilled? Because we hit, currently have two separate sextants. Correct. Do we, do we know if it would be so? That what all the pieces have to end up in one sextant, or so? Once a sextant is filled, you are able to use the greater powers of some of the items once a year. Got it. And then the sextant kind of goes done. So you could create a ship like you did before. You could um, create an island if you have the island creation and so on and so forth. So completing it recharges them? in that moment and then you can do a one of of the greater ability right but of of one of them one of, of one, one of them, them. yeah okay and, and the ability is pretty potent yeah so hmm. okay Right, so the other one essentially um, this is an engine creator. Okay. So this would go uh, this is made to out of general materials 
create uh, an engine for a certain type of um, vehicle. If you were to use it on your ship, uh, you could do the steam boost ability, uh, where it would flash vaporize the water behind it, granting a um, sudden burst of speed. And it makes a uh, automatic success on a fast movement. Other so, option. The, yeah. The other thing that it does uh, is that if you take an item, it essentially becomes a flame tongue magic weapon upon it. Once it's activated to be to create, once it creates a thing, essentially, and that could be a one, uh, one weapon at a time. That's outside, or once it's inside the sextant. That is, it it creates a furnace basically. That can do those things. Oh, okay. Ultimately. So it, it creates the, the engine slash furnace on the ship, which could do both the steam burst and the weapon enchantment? Yes, correct. Okay. That seems useful. All right. Uh, in the sextant, it can cast Greater Restoration once per day. Oh. Nice. No material components? Correct. Hmm. That's, that's that's useful. useful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jinx, you owe me coke. Um, but it can't be a vehicle for I don't know, maybe a sword with chains around it to make a you know chain sword. No, uh, just living on my war. <laughs> you, you literally what have a lightsaber. What are I'm you just trying saying. To I'm just for? saying, living out my <laughs> okay fantasies. Okay, but there's a, there's a lightsaber, and then there's you know a light chain sword. Right. <laughs> I heard aim big. I would say Thola has goals. Uh, I feel like that's not a Thola thing. That's a Jalen request. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> See, for a second there, I was thinking uh, if, if it was like an engine and not a furnace, um, furnace would probably be too big. But for a moment, I was thinking, you know, we had... We had the Kestrel, which could move pretty fast on its own. Yeah. And, and then we could turn our uh, our little boat into a speedboat. I mean, you could. You could. What would the furnace do if added to the smithy room? Would... I don't know if that would stack <laughs> really well. <laughs> Burn shit down faster? See, now I'm dreaming big. <laughs> but, uh... Cow drums crematorium. <laughs> what, what do you do? I sell plate armor and I cremate people. <laughs> I sell dust. You need some dust? I have dust. Uh, how okay. Uh, and then the the third one. Yes. So the third one is a little bit of a gas because you think that possibly Ren and Steel uh, maybe had plotted something out. This is create landmass. Oh, shit. Hmm. Wait, I thought we had the create landmass one. I think you did. We, we had one that was supposed to create We had the an one island. that created the island, that it had, but it had already been burned out. We got it off of Lacey's ah. trip. Sorry, I messed that around. Not bad. Oh, it had already been used. Yeah, but... we were, and we couldn't determine how long ago. Yeah. But now we know where that island is. Right. <laughs> and the, the funny thing is that Create Landmass one is the only one we haven't put in a sextant yet. Besides the Kestrel one. Because that one's still part of the Kestrel. Yeah. Man, Paul, I just want to say, randomly, it's really good to see you. 
that's what that's what I appreciate about you. Is, is that what you appreciate about me? That is. <laughs> that on the idyllic background. All right. So that. Sorry, I forgot this one. So that one is a. Um. It essentially, I'm trying to use the right words here, it can do what Gaius can do and create creatures. Oh. Given oh. materials what? and can crossbreed. Fuck yeah, Full Metal Alchemist. Woo! <laughs> Even worse. Edward, I hurt. So, <laughs> which is, if you remember Renesteel's comments, and you're starting to get this, Don, that Gaius has been able to develop abilities he should not have been able to based on everything you've been doing. Yeah. And with Kestrel. And so the Kestrel is almost inherently growing to have the full abilities of all the pieces of Redis. And that information has gotten out to the Vampire Nation versus their scrying. Yeah. Those are other things that you're aware of. So they want to stop us before we become a dreadnought. In the... Um, sextant, it can cast Polymorph once a day. Ooh. Also useful. Alright. Uh, I do want to clarify that if, if any of you guys decide to go Shao Tucker with this <laughs> thing, I will have issues. What does that mean? I don't read much. The uh, it is it is a, a, a famous internet meme in with Full Metal Alchemist where a dad loves his dog and loves his daughter and decides to combine the two of them, <laughs> and it doesn't exactly go great, and it's still too soon. <laughs> you know, I, I saw a hot take that he was actually a genius, and, you know, for only a second time, that's the way you get cat girls and dog girls. He just had too much dog. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my room now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> I'm still not over what happened to Zero Two. It took me a long time to get into that. But uh, but yeah, yeah, no, no. I will murder a Mister Tucker. <laughs> fair enough. I won't take anyone's daughter. Fair, fair, fair. Or my own. All right. Um. Cool. Um. I am curious about this Create Creatures one. Um, I think we should use the engine one before we put it in the sextant. But I am totally fine with the scrying pool going directly in the sextant and Caldrum getting his eyes back. I, I just hold out my hand. Yeah. Well, remember, to use these, it does take uh, like a, a fair amount of energy uh, to activate them. Uh, y yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Does does anyone else object to the scrying pool one just going straight into the section so that Caldrum can have his eyes? I feel like this is a prime and last opportunity to tease him just a little bit more before this is over. <laughs> Listen here, stink shit. <laughs> is, that, is that the rope talking? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. You're halfway between a Shao Tucker experiment. <laughs> you wow. furry scaled freak. Wow. <laughs> Someone can't take a joke. Fine. Both of you. <laughs> Alright. Uh yeah, I just I just hand you the scrying pool one back. I start immediately just focusing, trying to get it to go in. Just in the war room, just full, full like stop I'm not even listening to what everything else is happening. Just because <laughs> then I can give up this sextant. I never. I don't know how to use it that well. <laughs> so the other question that I have, um, the last time we tried this, we we had Thola remove curse, and it didn't work because we didn't have this piece. So right. as Caldrum gets this thing seated, 
does he automatically get his vision back, or do we need to have Thola try and remove Curse again? Uh, he will still need to remove Curse. Hey, hey Thola, you got one? You're muted if you're speaking. Oh, that was really hard to get to that unmute button. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what hotkeys are for. Um, yeah, I'm over there in the kitchen making bread, but um, I'll, I'll remove this curse. <laughs> Just as oh, nice obviously. of you. Yeah, the, yeah, because you I'm know, trying to what? make the best carb ever made, known to man. Okay, <laughs> bread. Is it right. non-bread? Non-bread. Biscuits <laughs> curse. Biscuits curse. So, once you put this final piece into the sextant, um, all the it begins to spin and rotate, and the sextant itself kind of goes dark, and this the pieces form together into one multicolored orb. As it spins around and you see a rune for each piece moving and the orb kind of takes a shape here one side for each of these pieces that were inserted and then floats above the sextant seemingly waiting for a press uh which ones did you have in there so i i don't know the names of them but the abilities i have are Invisible invisibility that I can maintain by using my action each turn. Um, find a secret trap door, like a, find a secret door or trap within thirty feet for an action, um, and then activate the sextant. Those were the only ones that I had in there. Or at least those are the only abilities that I have in the one that I made. But as that's up there, Thola touches allows the Raven Queen's power to flow through her. And you feel your eyes come alive again. (laughs) 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 Uh, Like little fireworks go on around our heads. Thank Final you, Fantasy Bella. Victory fanfare. Look, I, uh, I'm glad so, we got that one. M- Mal was never able to, you know, suplex the boat, but I'm I'm glad we got that one. <laughs> yet, so, yet. So hey, the sextants Mal- can hold three pieces, right? Based off of this, you put because I, like I said, those are the only abilities I have. And then Tonk has different ones in the sextant that he had gotten right, off the vampires. Right, because you had those those ones. Uh, moved through. Yeah, so this created three. Okay. So, just so I can update this, what was the ability that this one just gained from that one? Well, he this also the, said the that pool? once they're complete, they don't all work. Oh, right, 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 that's right. So I'm so, probably so, going to need to re-identify this. Yeah, by all means. So it has the Stay invisible each, uh, essentially indefinitely if you use your action each turn. Uh, find a secret door or trap within 30 feet. And then now this new one, yeah. the, the scrying pool one. All right, so let's, I want to make this at least a little simpler. So, because it has gotten <laughs> way too complicated Fair w- with some of what has happened. So, you're able to, um, Combine these and charge them. And I'd rather have more of an idea. Yeah, if you uh, need to, like, yeah. So, so basically, the the yeah. I think I got confused between the two sections myself, unfortunately. Yeah, no worries. So ultimately, this needs five pieces, which you have five pieces to put together. And for the purposes of this, you can choose how you're going to put together the five. Okay. And it will have those ability. It can do one of those five uh, major things once. All right, so which pieces are we giving up, boys? What's in your sextant? Because I know you have detect magic in that sextant, and I don't remember what else. Uh, yeah, it's got detect magic. I'm I'm pulling up the. Uh... I don't know if you had me make an item for that, or if you just made a custom thing. I, th- I thought there were like air, water, wind, earth, and heart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
So I had uh, the de detect magic and detect good and evil in mine. And then, so then we have this new one. The that we have the the not the forge the furnace the uh, create a creature. So of the create a creature, furnace, or the two that are already part of the other sextant, which ones do we want to potentially uh, use the, the as, greater ability? Okay, so I believe because you have you have the one that makes a furnace, one makes an island, you have one that makes a ship. Yeah, okay. So you have the yes, the, frag pool. the the we do have the one that creates a landmass, uh, and we had we had that one not as a sextant. That's why I didn't yeah. mention that there. So, um, detect detect good and evil, uh, detect magic, create landmass, invisibility. These are, those are the ones that we have not already as sextant pieces. Is the furnace uh, ship, which is still part of. Um, the Kestrel, Kestrel. So we're, not, we're not using that one. The creature, the landmass, and then we have the pool of water that I just put into my sextant, or the scry pool, my, the invisibility, the secret traps, the um, good and evil, and detect magic. So which combination, because I know we need the, the scry pool one, because that's the one that's like holding me cursed. The furnace does what? It, what? It, what is its greater ability? Uh, the furnace is essentially an engine that can power. Um, basically, puts it can put on a vehicle, more or okay. less. Um, so I'm trying to remember. So the invisibility one, I have that. That actually can potentially create a permanent force field. That can take a um, that is sent that um, blocks energy and can be used for invisibility. Have you guys been talking about this like out loud? Yeah, we're we're in the war. Okay, room. okay. So with this engine one, is this what we need to get to the astral sea? Be prepared, like propelled. Is this what we need? Is this the piece that? Could help us. Uh, I I don't think this is necessarily uh, key to that. This is just it. It would make us move from point A to point B much quicker. Mm. So the the because once we once we like complete a sextant, we get one of the greater abilities. Correct. You can use one of them, yes. So just the singular. Yeah, so the good and evil one, I believe, is meant to give disadvantage to enemies on, within a 3,000-foot area, if it's cast on a land of some type. Hmm. Wow. Hold on, hold on. So we can do that to all of Dark Toe? <laughs> yeah. Same page. Okay, but on an alternative... I will, page, I, I will say, because of it, it does require some semblance of ownership. Well... Kestrel doesn't count as land, I'm assuming. Dola, you got a house there, right? <laughs> just her I mean, house my becomes house, enchanted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, no, like casting in insane. the house, but it's still a range of three thousand, right? Like. Okay. So I have seven shards so far. Do you have more shards than that? Uh, okay. So. Yeah, we have four, nine. The four that I have that are named, or I have five that are named, the fragment of veiled presence, which is invisibility, mm -hmm. the fragment of illuminated secrets which is the, the fine traps. Fine trap, yeah. 
the fragment of astral alignment, which is detect good and evil, the fragment of arcane resonance, which is detect magic, and the fragment of natural harmony, which is create landmass. Okay. And we had all five of those, and then the ship one. I don't have that down here. Yeah. Then. But so we outside had, of those, we, had, we have the furnace ship creature and landmass, or I get I guess furnace ship and creature also. So we have eight. Uh, we have nine. Okay, so what am I, I just want to make sure. Oh yes, eight. Sorry, landmass. I already said yeah. eight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eight. Cool. Perfect. Which one was the scribe pool? The new one. Uh, that's one of the new ones. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't have it in my notes with an actual name yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> and give me, so then you're missing. What I I gave you the detect magic. I just gave you the good and evil. What's the other effect? I gave you the invisibility effect. Yep. Find trap. Uh, Find trap are, effect. That's the effect you trap, still yeah. need. Yep. So, well, we have that one. Yeah. Well, no, you, no. What's, what's the, the greater? greater? You don't have the, the greater, greater ability. Greater ability. Yeah, got yeah, it, got yeah, it, that's got what it. I'm saying. Perfect. Mal, so hear me out. Imagine a floating warship that once a year could drop a landmass on enemy territory. Like from above or like? Yeah, well, how does that work? yeah, yeah. I'm assuming. I don't know. Can how I drop an Allen or an Allen? Because that sounds pretty fucking useful. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see that pretty bad. Do, do we... Tonk, is that how the landmass would form? Could we be up in the sky and create it? I thought it had to like. I, I, I would pull. highly, I would highly doubt it. Okay, but you don't know for sure. Uh, okay. So Matt. Need the this illuminated is... secrets, the fine traps, and then I need the arcane resonance to sack magic. Okay, good. You have you're getting the greater things. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I I'm a little. So the um, illuminated sequence does the uh, is going to make a defensive AI. Huh. That can run traps and defenses, and you think back to. Of what was underneath the dark toe? Um, huh. That was a fun day. All right. It was a fun. I believe. He, um, de- okay. I think detect magic is the one that gives disadvantage on land. Uh, or was that the detect? Good and evil was that astral alignment? Sorry, yeah. astral alignment gives that. Invisibility gave force field. So I believe then the detect magic. I think is the ship. Well. The ship is still part of the Kestrel right now. But it created it. You still oh. had it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. I thought I thought we hadn't put that into a sextant. Because the way that they explained it to me back in, like, session four was that it was in that pit that was down in the hole Maybe of where we... they would feed the Kestrel. Or was that where the piece went? Uh, that was my understanding. We, I mean, from what unless, I unless create ship is is the arcane resonance, and we've got things mixed up. But I thought that that was a separate piece. I don't have a name for that piece, but okay. So the uh, ship. No, it's all good. This is me trying to get this in order. That's why yeah. I was I was I was figuring this out. So, as I'm looking through all the ones that we gave, so the ship one is in the ship. Yes. Okay, perfect. Is there any others that we have that we that we that are in somewhere other place? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you only say, unless Pyro has something, I don't think so because I yeah. never had one. So then, ultimately, you have nine shards: eight outside, one in the ship. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Mm, yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then the detect magic. Um, yes. 
that can provide air in the astral plane. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's that's all right. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's in on? that's in my sextant, and that's going to be the one I'm using. Well, that's if yeah, that's 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 when powered, and that would essentially make that piece detach. And so the whole thing is that once these are made again, then those pieces use a charge. That charge goes out, so it can't charge again for a year once you've used those pieces to make a charge. Any concept of how sense. long they actually last, though? So, like, air in the astral, is that, like, instantaneous or, like... Uh, so that gives a bubble of air permanently around the ship. Whoa. As long as it's not disabled... It would create some. It creates something that does that essentially. And I think if you do it to the to the castor, it's going to be heavily flavored towards Gaius and the castor. So it's one of those things that that some of this stuff you could definitely do. You do know that it seems that somewhere with between the relationship of Gaius and the castor, they seem to have the ability to access these things natively, given enough time and resources. What was the illuminated secrets one again? The detect traps. That was the defensive AI. That's right. Okay. That's right. And the and the ship one, if charged, actually could make several ships. Depending on the resources given to it. Hmm. Bad ideas. When we create a fleet of plant ships, we make our own. We oh. make Lightfinger. The other thing is they figured out where they needed to go to leave here and make a rather safe journey to the astral plane. It was through the Shattered Teeth, right? Um, it was a. It was a place south, but I don't think it was through yeah. the Shattered Teeth. It wasn't through the Shattered Teeth. It was, uh, it was a like there was a community down south that that led that lived around there, the entrance per se. Um, but I I, I, I I could imagine by this time um, that Dola's done making her bread. Uh, she did roll for it and some pretty good bread. Um, and I put honey on it. Um, I put a smiley face on Jajal's. Nice. On Tonks, on Tonks I put like a, like a little tree on it. That's on Caljums, it was like a gun. On Mao's, it was a little <laughs> fancy hat. On Pyro's, it's of course fire. Um, nice. And then I put a bed on Cassandra's. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. savage. Uh, and then for five hours, uh, you guys get plus three bonus to strength saves. Oh, thank you. So I rolled a uh, 27. Nice. Yes. Do I have to eat this now, Thola? I'm not... I'm not um, afraid. you have a, an hour to eat it. No. Nope. Before okay. it gets okay. cold, and then it's reduced by um, plus one. So instead of plus three, it would be plus two. It was plus three to strength saves? Strength saves. I'm, I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> for five hours. So you described this one that can create creatures, and you you said that it you know sort of like Gaius, you can make creatures depending on material. Um, is this like an ongoing thing that it could do? And right. Like so 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 all particular... these, what all these ultimately do is, for, with the exception of the island, I believe essentially create something that does these things. Okay. Okay. So, so you create, so you create something that all... Like, so the ships create something that can create a lot of ships. Uh, the mass doesn't do that. It just creates one big land mass. Um, okay. But... But, um, but if and you the, use the creature uh, one, it would create, like, a creature lab. Right. Right. So, these aren't so much magical effects as these are things, machines that are made to make things 
that ultimately do, do a whole purpose. And so identify is powerful, but identify doesn't give you the full yeah. user's manual. Basically, it gives you the, this is what this does. Damn it. Um, cool. So... We have enough to make one sexton. Uh, I am keeping the fragment of arcane resonance in mine because Which one's I'm. That? It's the air in the astral sea. Okay. Because when isn't when the I'm, air the greater effect though? Yes. What, okay. what I'm what I'm saying is I don't want that to go into yours and then us to pick a different one. Got it. I am saving that so that it can be in mine, so that I know that we can use that. Gotcha. But then we have to find more pieces. We, we have to find one. two more. We pieces. have to find two more if we don't want to pull the ship out of the ship. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. yeah. Um. Is there an effect of the graders that we know we want? A shield on the Kestrel could be useful. Uh, um, so. So things to consider for, for what would be good. Uh, and the engine would be good. Uh, force field slash invisibility would be good. Uh, defensive AI would be good. I, I, I'd i love to be able to make creatures, but uh, that's not... I Dias think, is already priority. doing that, though. <laughs> and, and so am I at this point. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh... uh Deep. Someone's presumptive. <laughs> for now, for now. <laughs> I don't know if Gaius would get along with the AI too. By the way, that's a big question. So, yeah, our our options are the the furnace engine the ship fleet uh the creature lab land mass force field defensive ai advantage to a large land area air in the astral sea oh, yeah that one of the ones in mine i'm keen on the invisibility and force field, seeing as we currently have uh, revelry chasing us from Rothold. I'm, I'm also down with force field invisibility. Yeah, I'll throw my vote in with that as well. <laughs> Alright, so what pieces do we want to put in with it? So that piece is already in mine. Um, so in mine is the invisible, the detect trap, and the scry pool. So the what's what's the greater on the scry pool? The like sort of future if you carry it along with you. Yeah. So the limitations on the invisibility here are going to be essentially. Um, Similarly, if you attack, the invisibility will drop. Mm -hmm. If you do, if you use it for the ship, but it's um, it's also designed to where if something knows you are there, the invisibility drops. Oh, that's less useful. What about the force field? Uh, the force field essentially has a certain amount of HP. Okay. Um, so if so if they would hit you, the force field takes the damage until depleted. That would, that would recharge after a certain amount of time. Correct. Okay. Still useful. The invisibility is not as good for getting away, but more for getting in. Correct. Or getting through. Places or through. Yeah. So for instance, you can go and see the pi the the uh, vampire island again because you've seen it and you're aware of its location. So that's still useful, especially if we're planning to assault Dark Toe, where they'll be firing upon us, having a force shield. 
Get, get past the turtle. I was planning on sitting in a job by himself, but that's fine. <laughs> no, Tonk. We're going to make friends with the turtle, damn it. We can just fly over the turtle, damn it. We can't fly yet. Some of us can. You, you can fly? I Is have that a bug. trick of your key? I have a bug. <laughs> All right, so so what do we want to put in? We we don't have to necessarily choose that, but we do have to decide which ones are going in this sextant so I can have my damnable sight back. Is it that important, really? How long has it been? Too long. Okay, fine. Um, so there's these greater powers that we get to use once. We get to choose of the five, one of them to use the right. recharges in right. a year. Is there going to be any residuals of, you know, what they used to do, or is this just the thing and then it's done? It, it, it kind of just powers down for us. Okay. Um. So I'm I'm for throwing the defensive AI in there. We don't really use. The fine traps and fine secret doors. Like I don't recall us ever yeah, having we haven't used that even once. once. <laughs> uh, even when you specifically needed to find secret doors. Yeah. Yeah, we when? suck. <laughs> Wait, when, did we, when did we have to find secret doors? In the library. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't attuned to it at the time. I had attuned to Wait. the uh, the headband. We just ask around. It's fine. So, uh, so find <laughs> those two. What other three do we want to go in it? Um, realistically, we don't actually need our own island. I mean, if we're going to take Dark Toe, we're just going to take Dark Toe. Or Vampire Island. That's also. Or Vampire choice. Island. Hmm. Like, I, I don't really think we need our own island. It's free real estate. But I want an island with like roller coasters and like what is roller cotton coaster? candy. And Just, cotton I'm candy. living. What are these, I'm what living are these big, things? man. I'm living big. <laughs> it's a sugar confection I'm working on. You'll have to so. let me try it because I think I'll stick to the fusaka for the time being. Mm. Well, it's, it's two different tastes, my man. Two any, different tastes. Any objection? No, go ahead and do a talk. So. Which one are we putting in mind besides the three I already have? Uh, the the landmass. Landmass, okay. And then we need to come up with one more to toss in there. Um, Do we really need more creatures? Behind Jajal's room is literally a <laughs> sea tank. I mean, guys, what if, if we did this? I could I could come up with custom shit that I want to make. <laughs> Just, um. Well, Tonk, don't be lazy. Just train the seedlings. All right, fine. We can, <laughs> we can throw that one in there. Belladonna's been looking for you, by the way. Oh, she has? Excellent. <laughs> okay, so I will put landmass and creature in along with the three that I have, which are invisible and detect trap and scry pool. And that'll be the the formation of mine. Let me put that in my notes so I can then re. All right. So these five runic options. And Galdrum, since you made this, you instinctively know which options are which. <laughs> Though you do know that anyone could activate it. Okay, those are the ones in mine. Thola casts her thing. So I have my sight back? Yeah. I'm no longer yeah, perma blinded? Yeah, we did that. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Love so to just, hear it. Just to confirm so that everybody's on the same page, the five that went into that sextant were <laughs> the secrets, invisibility, 
scry, landmass, and force field. Yep. Caldrum knows best. I don't even know. I lost track already. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to send me the notes you have for the greater things. I just wrote down the, the small parts of what, what went into it into my notes. Because yeah. I was not... I was not taken down because I didn't even realize that the other pieces had like whole ass names <laughs> all right yeah all right this was some great bread Thola and thank you for for returning my sight <laughs> to me ah uh, yes I will possibly take it some other time just to mess with you <laughs> I don't know if that works that way unless you're just casting malicious spells <laughs> on me which I suppose that's a thing that you could do but uh, my shots go wild when I can't see, so I'll just let that be known. So, 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 Cal, just to be clear, um, you've been keeping books the whole time. You, you definitely have money. I promise, it's not made up money. It's like in the ship's lodges. Like, there's <laughs> money over here. Like, I promise you, like, we made now it. you realize I could see when I had the sextant on me. The whole point of doing this was so that I wouldn't have to keep the sextant on me. Or so oh, that oh, my sight oh. couldn't be stolen oh, okay. by one of sure our we, enemies. We're, we're above board, right? We're totally <laughs> on the same page, I guess. Yes. What was that? Um, uh, to honor amongst thieves? Something like Mal? that. I, I forget. Um, <laughs> honor amongst bows, perhaps. So are you activating one of the options then or no? Oh, uh, not currently. Okay. Did, we, did we decide that we wanted to do so one of them? I, I, I had thought that we were we had all collectively agreed on force field. Force field. Okay. Well, then I will do the force field. Do it. Do it. Do so it. So I, I will I will Hold turn the the floating runic ball to the or penta, penta, pentagon, what the, pentagram? whatever that shape is. Pentagram. I don't, yeah, but I don't know if it's like three dimensional. So it's three dimensional. I'll, I'll I'll turn that to that and then like activate it. Push the button, crunk. Hunting on. Yeah. It spins wildly. It, um, and shoots a beam straight into the castrol. You hear Gaius go, ah! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Apologies, and, Gaius. And from the energy build up, you see the roots uh, beneath the castrol start to get long as if they're drawing in uh more from the ocean itself you can see large fish kind of caught up in them sort of them turning pale and then limp and out uh, on you feel something shifting below decks and then nothing and the sphere drops a whole, like a hunk of metal. I pick it up. Uh, um, what was that? I just start heading below deck. Well, let's <laughs> let's put those things in safe storage for now. Like they're inert for a year, but they're still <laughs> powerful items. Yes, we should put that in safe storage yeah. with the seed. In a chest in my room, it's very hard to teleport in and out of my room. And fiends and undead and other things can't go in there. All right. That's not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going below deck right now, so. Yeah, it, I enough. think we're probably going to gonna sort of put it somewhere near the seed. As like, this is this is core magical stuff. It's literally part of the boat. This is this is core memory type of thing. Yeah. What well, I mean, it won't quite work within guys. So I think putting it with uh, Thola might be your best bet. But. Oh, okay. Well, so I wasn't imagining it working in there. I was just imagining like this is where we store it for a yep. year. Protection. Well, right. That's also a problem because if Gaius has it for a year and a day, then it may get some zoom at some point. Yeah, so generally some of the, uh, the, the the magic Gaius storage has moved its way to your rooms and the particular functions you can now do. Got it. So sort of like the okay. things. So yeah, then to, Thola, yeah. hang on to it. I'll put I it in a little chest in my that room. That was the one adjustment we made was, was Gaius being less of the magic uh, keeper. Um, so <laughs> as you move in, 
There is a... Best to be described as like a black light as it's this bright purple light that shines from the hold. And there are these motes of phosphorescent dust from a glowing purple flower. That's uh, not supposed to be there. Tonk, you touch it first. Uh, wait, what does this flower look like? I mean, is it just petals around a central? It's a. Uh, it's about. It's about three foot in diameter. And Whoa. it's large, flowing petals that seem to almost float without wind in the air, brushing its own movement. Wait, where was this flower? Down the hold. Down the hold. Oh, okay. the hold. And my room and Smithy are one up, one level above the hold, right? Yes. Or are they also in the hold? I think they're one room above. Okay. Um, is is there any obvious part of this plant to interact with? Um, make a nature check. Oh, 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 I'm good at those. <laughs> 30. <laughs> Jeez, that's it? <laughs> So you feel here that as you examine it, uh, there is, you see the uh, pestle of this flower in the very center. And you put together like several types of organic material and the way this is moving. This seems like a purely organic um, piece of machinery, really. And you feel like this is how, if you would... Uh, essentially interact with the pestle. It would activate either the invisibility, invisibility or force field effect. Awesome. So guys, yeah. that's how you do it. Make sure to teach the seedlings since you're able to command them from your yeah. cubby within Gaius. Oh. What what is that location called? Do you have a name for it? It's 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 just my room. CQ. <laughs> oh, but don't you sink into it? I thought I saw you sink into it once. It, my understanding is it's it's not actually sinking into anything. It's it's more just like a trance that I go in. So like I I have you know the the little probably the little chair that I go in, <clears throat> but it's just. A trance is Got my it. understanding of that. Right, Matt? Yes. I remind Pyro to <laughs> cast Morning Cannon's private sanctum. <laughs> Since he wants to supposedly do that for a year. <laughs> we don't have the downtime for that. So... Where do we go from here? If we find two more pieces to fit in the sextant, we can have the air needed to travel in the Astral Sea, though we don't know that what we'll do in regards to propulsion. Let's hunt out another piece. Wait, okay. do we have to propel in the astral seed or, or seal? Uh, seed is that a thing? What, uh, how do you even move around the astral seed? Do you have any idea? Breathing is good, moving is better, right? I mean, I mean, I I'm not sure moving better, is but... better. All right, so just float forever, I guess. I would like the idea of just rowing. Can you row? I we have to try it, right? That is a question we could ask. If we can find that settlement at the the border that we saw on the map, we can also. Oh, Thola, can you contact Revic currently? See if he's all right or what's happened back in Rothold. 
we still have to pick up your fridge. The fridge we can either have delivered or yeah, or we can pick it up later. Or we can which pick is it fine. up later. Yeah. So, okay. uh, I'm apparently really bad at taking notes because I have no idea what my own notes mean. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking back at when I when I did all the research into what we'd need to to travel the astral sea, um, and and there was finding it, and there was breathing. So I have I have a note for you know that we need the breathing, uh. And then I have a note that just says Boomstone. Right. So, like, mo movement, right? Or at least control yeah, brooms, the, uh, the Broomstone. Broomstone, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're correct. So, we do need uh, well, we, transportation. We could... Would, here's a question Would the engine made by that fragment work for transportation? I said that already. It depends, <laughs> it, it, it depends if there is gravity to fight or not. But we did get uh, understanding that the um, community near the entrance might have more answers, right? Yes, correct. And I would. And the other thing with that thirty nature check, cash. That um, for the first time you start to see, since the Kestrel kind of had remade itself, you see that there was always that there was these roots coming uh, and almost branches flowing um, from the Kestrel down into the water. You see now they look more like veins that you'd see on a leaf, but without the bits of the leaf, cool. just limp and um, just motionless. But your brain starts to put it together that matured. These would look a lot like leaf wings. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. I mean, Lishnia probably doesn't want a part-time job anyway. <laughs> uh, not in a wedge. <laughs> I mean, All right. I, I was I was planning on trying to use the Plank King's piece for that, but if this this thing is already working on getting capable of flying, I'm I'm alright with that. Oh, I forgot he had a piece. Um <clears throat> Thol is going to cast sending to Revnik. Uh, uh she's Revic? going Revik, yeah. Revik, Revnik, whatever, that guy. Uh, Re the, the revenant of Revik? At <laughs> oh, no, uh, he died. Sorry, Mel. No. Oh, that's sad. Um, um, how is off loading of passengers? Uh, we might not be back on the island in quite some time. So if you can, find a safe haven. Let us know when you get there. And keep in touch. We might be heading south. <clears throat> well, the ship sunk. <laughs> <That's> what? <laughs> Autopilot for the win. And, uh, but yes, we, they're true to their word, and we are. Uh, are dispatching uh, the survivors as need be. <laughs> the I like, there's like a like visible <laughs> confusion on uh, Dola's face, and she's like, Mal, how long has your uncle been a, a captain of a ship? 30 or 35 years. He's had two sunken ships within a three-month span. I mean, I think this one was not control. To, to be clear, like, we that was the, That was sort of my fault, port. but yeah. <laughs> that one's on me. <laughs> what happened? That's on you, Matt? <laughs> no, this is Cassandra talking. Cassandra oh, talking, Cassandra yeah. Say that. Oh, okay. okay. Uh... Yeah, he's he sunk the ship, but 
It seems like Wait, he sunk the it. ship. Well, it the, 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 ship, uh, the ship sunk. I don't know how. He didn't uh, my, my guess is it was on autopilot and didn't have brakes and just ran itself aground hard, maybe? I don't know. Jurassic or was, Park was style. it shot down? Like, I mean, that's there's a huge uh, difference between... Cassandra thinks, I may have forgotten I that when I agreed to be part of this crew, that that wouldn't have voided my contract with the uh, Maelnith that kept the ship from sinking. <laughs> so we should dock your pay this time to pay for that time. <laughs> Did she eat our bread? Because... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she did. Take her bread she back. didn't eat. I'm saying, if she didn't eat her bread, she was gonna probably need a strength saving throw. <laughs> she ate her bread as I like choke her, like <laughs> strangulation would be a con save. <laughs> Shut up, Caldron. We're not talking about technicality thing now. <sighs> well, you, you are technically learned. correct, which is the best kind of correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. So, I mean, is, is everyone safe, Thola? Uh, he, he didn't say otherwise. Oh, good. No harm. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe all of you are just rubbing off on me. I, well, I just look over at Mal. <laughs> That didn't I'm, last long at all. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying we're perfect. I'm saying we're progressing. Okay, we're, we're getting better slowly, awkwardly. Never mind. Never mind. Talk. Just a target. It's fine. How much is a new ship? A lot. Twenty thousand gold ish for a Why good one. We... Let's go back and just take one of the revelry ships and give it to Revic. Just one, right? Not five. Just one. I mean, if we're on a winning streak, we might as well just keep going. I think right? the goal for Rivik was to disappear and not become the new pariah. And if it's obvious he's not connected to us, if it's letting us letting him walk free, then like, let's do that. Uh. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> if he's taking care of the uh, the um, two hundred ish sudden newcomers to. I'd hold that's not acceptable. This is this is this is good. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's burning. <laughs> it's okay. Well, Mal, do we have a destination? <laughs> you know, we got like five or ten, or at least a bunch of people hunting us. Um, shit balls. Uh, Desta, Desta, Desta. Um, uh, Zoom, Port Zoom, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to go Port Zoom, right? Uh, yeah. I was, I, that's where you want to go. I, yeah, no, I, mean, I was just, suggesting I'm going south, but if we need to take a stop to Zoom, I'm down for it. Uh, I mean, I talked about lots of options, lots of lots of choices. Um, as the ca ca captain, I feel like I need to um, okay. um, uh, at least I have I have I have, a, I have an opinion here. Wait, um. So we're gonna go to the astral plane and float upside down, or do you guys want to go to like um, hell, conquer territory, and be totally screwed and show up and tell them we are? Or we could just go visit PK for a while. That'd be a super awesome vacation, mostly the brig, possibly in chains. Like mm. lots of good choices. Um, what do you guys think? I need <laughs> I need two more fragments of Redis. Right. Right. Well, let's go to Port Zune and maybe make some friends if we can. And wouldn't the easiest choice for finding new fragments be Vampire Island? Uh, uh, I mean, there's Vampire Island. There's the Plank King, or there's I just press this button and it points us to it in a direction. I right. like that choice. That that sounds super safe and rational. Let's let's uh, let's consider that one. Do y'all remember that really fun time we plummeted out of the sky from a castle and we survived? Yes. yes. Yeah, that was wild. I don't always have a ship in my back pocket. That was a fun time. So, uh, talk about that, um, you know, place, you know. You, you, you want to press the button? <sighs> I'm yes. sorry, what, what button is, are you allowing Mal to press? 
Uh, no, uh, Mal is is as an easy out of the the decision of where we want to go <laughs> since we can't make that decision. Just is I just the... press the button on the sextant to find the next piece. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. There's that. So, so that way Mal doesn't have to make a decision. <laughs> as I've said, we can always check in on my father in Port Zoon to see what he was doing with the vampires. So, west? Unless Thola's willing to try to contact him. I don't know what he looks like. You oh, well, yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As a reminder, when you do the sex in, it gives a visual heading that just about anybody could follow. Hmm. And give their position away. Mm-hmm. Yes. Every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it does. I'm going to start charging Caldrum for sendings. <laughs> Why just like... me? Why didn't Mal get charged? <laughs> it, was fa- it, it was family and your dad seems mean. <laughs> you said my dad seems mean? Yeah. <laughs> How do you figure? It was a very touching moment. He said that life slowed down when I was born. How is that mean? <laughs> it's because he's old. That's <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing sending being like Western Union or like a bad fax. <laughs> or we can search for the next piece of Redis or we can head down towards uh, to find the settlement near the gateway to the astral plane. But I, I like hey. that idea a lot, but like we still have to like somehow, okay, so we can breathe there maybe, we can float there maybe, can we move there? We're not entirely sure, right? Tonk, how do we accelerate the growth of the different aspects of the Kestrel? Uh, well, I mean, last time we put we put the bodies of vampires in it, that seemed to give it a kick. Well, my father is dealing with vampires. Maybe we can catch some, and I hold up the, uh, the Bengals pink taffy pistol, literally alive, and maybe alive they will grant more power to it. That reminds me, Thola, did you, did you actually deal with a body or no? Deal with the body? Sorry, what body? Uh, Renis Trail. He evaporated into dust. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing left, really. Yeah, I, I started making like a little in my room because I felt like he needed to be remembered. I started making like a little, I don't know, like a clay model or, him or something, oh. which I'm terrible at, you know. I'd be better making off like a little vegetable figure of him. I liked him a lot. He, he grabbed the dust and a little bit of like water and is trying to like... <laughs> I guess I guess you guys would have to retcon telling me that, you know, he doesn't, he's not a rep because I went straight to Tonk to get this stuff dealt with. Oh no! He gave me these pieces of Redis. <laughs> no, he was, he was true to his word and wanting to protect Kea. Terrible. All right, so be clear, we're down to two, right? We're down to chasing pieces of Redis and going deep south, south looking for the uh, the astral plane neighborhood? Question mark. I mean, so- maybe the there will be a piece there. We've never been that way, so. But if we're going to go to the door of the astral plane, shouldn't we have two more pieces? Wouldn't that be a little preemptive? No, but they have information. So we have the air, and we have. Um, we it. don't. We, we don't have, have the, the air yet. We have. Yeah. We need to get two oh, more pieces of Rita's so before yeah, we can there's use. There's no point in us going down there unless so they give us a different way to right, breathe which, and move. Right, which so we don't we... know they will have for sure. Okay, that's good. Never mind. All right, let's so go. We should, we should have second at this point. Find the second. So, so planking? What? What, what are you, wait, what are you <laughs> talking about? Planking. Problem. He's got we, a piece. We, okay, but yeah. I don't think equipped enough to fight him, and he's probably yeah. got some vampire buddies with yeah, him. No, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> we could check up uh, Caldrum's Pappy, okay. or we could head that way, but also press the button too and see which direction. Because what if we're, they're both in the same direction? Don't 
don't all speak up at once. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, like, I like where Tonk's head's at. I like the PK angle for sure, but like, we're not quite ready. <laughs> I still need time to uh, enchant this pistol and figure out how to utilize this living lava. And make me my armor. And make two of you armor and Cassandra a hand. Right. And I need like two extra arms and Dolan needs to send a gotcha in the meantime. But yeah, we'll do that. Wait, what? Where are you Spend getting it. where are you getting extra I'm, arms? I'm saying I'm saying PK is gonna be a little bit more effort mm. than we maybe think. That's all. The, those three things take me a week. I don't well, know how long it's gonna take you to grow extra arms. Are you I planning mean, to Thola, have Dolan and Gotha takes a bit longer, I'm sure. To Vasselheim. Are, okay. are you planning to have Rasmith <laughs> just cling to your back and act as your extra arms? That, actually, that that could work. Hmm. Oh, I know who our first experiment uh, to use is going to be for the creature thing. I I, I don't think we're going to get it. It's not a high enough priority. <laughs> okay. Um. So, are we going to <laughs> press the button? Yes. Or are we just going to go to Port Zune? Or are we going to go no, to Press Zune, then Port Zune, then press the button? Because maybe we'll be a little bit safer in Port Zune. We, we should definitely chase Glowing Rocks in the moon. I don't have... Okay. All right. Now we understand so let's, you're let's head upstairs. Let's head All up of the it. Yes. Uh, Jajal, if you'd, if you'd head up into the nest so you can get the best view. I will be up there now. <laughs> Uh, so on the deck with Dijal up for the best view, I hit the button. What the hell? <laughs> Immediate combat. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like many times before the lenses of the sextant now empowered by some pieces of Redis uh, turn and it rotates flat as it begins to seem to search and find its heading and then uh, the lenses of it align and a beam shoots straight Vroom. And there is an elongated beam pointing off beyond the horizon. Uh, I will right. Mark shout the out. heading, if you would, Jajal. Yeah, I was going to shout out to Jajal what direction is that. Or maybe what I even know what direction that is that is if we're near land masses and my good, keen skill of geography and maps. Yeah, I'll just work on that. And then, of course, D&D Beyond's map of Exandria went. <laughs> uh, Fuck, I have maps. We have maps. Be there any moment to see if the Dandy Beyond is being a punk. The compass place in the bottle. <laughs> Do you remember? Okay. Sorry. You, you good. Sometimes I just feel like a very earth, wind, and fire, and just needs to be. Set. I mean, if you ever feel like going full show tunes, just do it. Just commit. I really do. Uh, I think all my my son thinks I'm the most annoying person ever. <laughs> we could go full bard. It's okay. As, as he should, because you're his mm -hmm. father. That's just yeah. part of being a dad. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of, I gotta run a bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Make, oh my gosh. I have the map up of I have my Alexandria. whole computer is being a punk. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, so those maps are like big on memory because they're massive, massive maps. Yeah. All right. Um, right. So I just need to figure out where you guys were. Yep. Yeah, so that is going to it is going to go northwest from where you are. So when we left Rothold and we went to the island, 
where was that? I thought that was due south. I'm not sure. Or south-ish. Yeah, you went yeah. south from Rothold. South from Rothold. So it's now northwest? So towards Port Zoom. <laughs> Puts us towards the Concord and less towards the dark shoals of unforgivable hands. But we've already passed by like the Lotus Den Greenwood and the White Dawn Lagoon and everything? The twenty first night of September. <laughs> nice. We're changing the mind with pretenders. All right, I think I'm actually gonna get this now. There we are. Oh, I got a map that can work. Ma'am, seventy eight was a great year. I wasn't alive, but it had to be. All right. <laughs> If you go bard next time, 100% BGs, I'll be impressed. Dude, I love playing bards. I just ran, rarely play them. That's probably better for your health. <laughs> yeah, I would literally sing everything. I believe you. I would okay, be that yeah. guy. So this is going... Um, this would go past the Ink Claw Reef. Hmm. Mm. And kind of go up through that direction. Well, looks like we'll be close to Port Zoon. Mm -hmm. That's cute. I love uh, it. Has out of character somebody mentioned something about a clockwork duck? Oh yes, I give you your clockwork duck. A gift from Beatet. She said that you would know where. Oh shit! My notes. <laughs> when you got she there, said, you would know where to where to take it. There was in, some some in producer. In you yeah. would know where to take it. Yeah. Does this clockwork duck look like the clockwork things from my visions? Yes, they do. Amazing. You're not crazy. You're just a pawn. It's fine. So you care to share, dude? Uh, so so Port Zoon isn't all that far from Nicodronus, is it? Mm -mm. Uh, no, it's a little bit further west. Comparable. So Nicodronus is closer. Because I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind dealing with this if, you know if it's on the way. Yeah, of the two, Nicodronus is closer. Oh sure, sunshine, let's go. I actually don't mind at all. Just... Hey Mel, Mel. Yeah, yes, actually. yes. What's up? Should we stay north of Inclaw Reef? I mean, generally, yes. It's a little bit of a rough spot, as I hear. All right. If Start possible, that'd be first. nice. Like, not, I mean, Roma Cup's his own problem. Uh, yeah, just uh, generally well, avoid ships with like flags well, that don't like well, pirates. So, we're going to stop at Nicodramas first, then go to Port Zoom? Or, um, wait, wait. So, where where did the actual uh, Sexton point? North it pointed North. us in the direction of Port Zoom. We right, don't know that not... it pointed specifically to Port okay. Zoon, but it pointed in the same direction. Yeah, I mean, if 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 avoidable, avoid the reef. Yes. Hey, Matt. Mm -hmm. Was it the Sirius End Forest where the Tabaxi ruins were that I needed to go to? Um, those were in that, those were in the Korsaka jungle. Ah, uh, okay. Um, well, if we're heading to Nicodronus, there's a uh, that's close to the ruins that Leishnia told me of how to go about crafting the crystal I would need to make a weapon of the caliber that I'm aiming to make is in. So yeah. if we can pit stop there whilst in Nicodronus, 
that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so I apologize. It actually pointed you more due west. It looks like it would mm. take you, if you were going to follow it precisely, you'd go south of the Inclaw Reef. Mm. Okay. That direction's probably better to avoid ships anyway. So, that, I mean, due, due west, right? Essentially. That's and then like, we can head north. Right, so that would be either Romacosp or Diwali or, or towards Dark Toe, which would be terrible, or even more west than that. Uh, is is oh, this thing pointing us at the Plank Kings? No, that's <laughs> east, right? That's, no, it would be west. No, that, no, that would be west. Yeah, oh, man, west we're that sure. far? Holy fuck! Yeah. You're, You're off really light shore. Right now. Yeah, oh, we're, my we're God. pretty... Pretty far east. Is, is this is this pointing us to Dark Toe? Is that is that what it's doing? It's conceivable. I can't. I don't. So I here's find a different map. Here's what I'm thinking. Maybe if we did a wide berth around Ura Ura Kazel and yeah. split between Rumblecusp and just head straight north from there, we could hit up Nicodronus and then Port Zune, and then hopefully avoid the major trade routes. That could it just work. adds more time, or right? And more stops off. for sure. Yeah. Are you always looking for a vacation, or is this? Never mind. This is what everyone else is requesting. Or oh, right, right. Well, so you are you are currently six weeks from the Inclaw Reef. Okay. Six weeks east, you mean? Yeah. West. We are what we are east from. We, we are, are currently east of. East of I, I said six yeah. weeks from. Is what I said. So we'd have to be east of if we were like leaving close. Light shore. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So six weeks. So if six That's... weeks is to Inclaw, then <laughs> at least another six would get us to Port Zuna, uh three or, three or four to Nicodronus, and then much more to Darko, right? Right, so if you just go lucky. to Dark Toe, that's about an 11, 11 week journey. Okay, so we probably want to resupply at some point. Do we want to hit uh, Ink Claw and then go north and then follow the um, the Texan, or yeah, what? what do you guys think? So I think since we're since it's this direction anyway, a fairly reasonable plan would be to hit Nicodronus, then hit Port Zune. We could resupply at either. And then once we've um, figured out what's going on with Caldrum's father, we can hit this again and see if it's actually pointing us at Dark Doe. So Cal's father is at Port Zin, right? Correct. Right. And then Nicodronus is the half port, right? It's the place where the Concord and the Empire actually agree on something for five minutes. Yes. That could be spicy. It could be interesting. Um, there's We're probably not. not a warrant for me there, but we aren't really known by Concord or the other folk. I, I, I'm not, um, but I used to be a while uh, ago. I am probably more well known than any of you by the Empire. Okay, I draw a mustache on Mal. <laughs> I mean, not the first time. Yeah, it comes and uh, Pyro had talked about uh, going up the the Tyadin River. Oh, that's oh, even that's further north. It's by Port Tamale. Tamale, right? Okay. Yeah. Him and the sand rat, right? whatever. That feeds all the way into the thicket. Does it? Velvet mm -hmm. thicket. It does. It does. I, maps. I only track coasts. Hmm. All right. So I feel like the right answer for us right now is head west towards Anklaw and then angle up north towards Nicodronus, maybe resupply, see how we do. And stuff around, we think. Okay. Well, we could stay north of Inclaw then, and I don't know, I mean, just see how it goes. Not getting stuck in reefs is generally good, yes. We don't have a huge draw. It's not a deep boat, but it definitely could get stuck in a reef. I've never been to a wild mountain mainland, so I'm really excited. Really? Not <laughs> once. Not no, once. I, You've never been to a raiding party. Just, just, okay. just the islands. I've never, well, this is my first time. I've never been a pirate. That's my. That was my father's thing. So I was mostly on the island <sighs> doing highland hopping and. I never left well, Port Zoom. Well, Rothole would I count as the mainland, tail. yeah? It would. It would. Well, yeah. Yes. So it's, it's not the first time. I mean, true, not true. The right. conquered, but yes. 
Yeah, the so, also first on the blight step. shore. I mean, come on now. Ugh. Do we? <laughs> are we giving up the pirate's life, or are we? Like, no, are we playing... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm just trying to get a vibe check on, on what happens when we come across okay. another vessel. You, you got to get jumped out of the pirate's life. Do you not know how this works? <laughs> <laughs> I'd prefer to avoid those particular lickings. I mean, we're a ship and a business, so we can negotiate anything. At, you can at, buy your at, way out. At no point has a has a fairy flown in our window and offered us an alternative to this. So, or, or I guess what the, the, does the fairy take you to pirating? Is that what happens? I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't ask. So to Nicodronus for the time being. I think uh, that's what it looks like. I think yeah, so. west west to Ink Claw and then north to Nicodronus probably. Okay. Oh, by the way, if any if anybody has anybody, Cassio included, has any idea how to not be seen by the lady and PK and all the other people that are chasing us, that'd be a fucking fantastic um, idea. W- did you forget the plant in the hole already? So well, does it show have, us from all those things? So he, here's the thing: we have invisibility for right. a visual sight. Right. And Pyro is casting uh, Mordenkaiden Sanctuary every morning to keep people from being able to scry on us. Right, so does that mean we're actually safe? Or, like, we'll just do some weird shit. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I've been found in my pants down in lots of strange places. Are we sure we're okay? Uh, Mal, I can't 100% say I'm ever certain of anything in this world. But I am not currently aware of a way to find us. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah. Te- technically, uh, out of character, you, you, creatures in the area can't be targeted by divination spells. Out of character, Mal has no concept around magic. Is paranoid. Thinks everything is scary <laughs> when it comes to magic. So, like, done, You're done, done. of love, magic, everything. Basically, good in the world. everything is our All right. <laughs> yeah. So, so I guess the one thing Tonk would say. Is we we did never find um, the way the plant, was tracked. The Plant King's tag on Caldrum's stuff. Fair. And mm-hmm. and that direct tag might provide some information, even though we have Sanctuary up. So do we just want to throw everything overboard and buy new stuff? Fuck no. I mean, for him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Caldrum, we're uh, we're tossing all of your gear. You better be making stuff as you toss it. I'm not actually tossing all your gear. <laughs> if you can make it, I don't care. It's not tools that it's not the sentimental tools that my father gave me. I left those with him. All right. So West and that, that might be something to think of at the next resupply is. Swap out as much of your gear as possible. Tonk, can you boost us? I forget. Don't For, tire yeah. out the Kestrel or Tonk. Hmm. I need time to make these to make equipment. I, I can if we're getting chased. I can if we're getting chased, but okay. extended periods of pushing this ship. Uh, it, is quite exhausting. Anybody know some good sea shanties? Do you still have mead or ale in the cupboard? Uh, that's now like a flammable object, but I do have this jug full of ale if you want it. I mean, I, I can Isn't sing it full of if I'm drunk enough. No, I gave that to Beta. <laughs> ah, there we go. She has left. The left has left. The left has left. But I do uh, have a jug. So are we? Are we at, at six weeks of, of downtime at this point? Is that where we're at? Uh, more or less. So you, you're able to make use of that depending on what happens on the uh, ship. Um. So if you're going all the way to Nicodronus, let me re make this one. And four gallons mm-hmm. of beer. That's not enough for the day. Well. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so we'll call that about uh, extra due the, by the trade winds. So that's going to be eight weeks uh, Oof. travel time to Nicodranas. Which is eight weeks of running swordsmanship with uh, Rasma. I'm saying, don't ask me for nothing. I ain't doing any more spell oh, slots for y'all was, for was, nothing. <laughs> was, you said Belladonna was looking for me? Oh, I was just saying that so that way oh, you okay. could interact with her again. I, I, know, I know we all wanted to continue training with our respective seedlings. Uh, yeah, so on the seedling thing, um, what I'm going to let you all do is you're going to do a sidekick level five for your seedlings. Oh, shit. And then <clears throat> if you want to upgrade your seedling, then your character must spend five weeks of downtime helping them gain a level. Hold on. All right. How does that um, work? Sidekick. How, how do you make sidekicks? Uh, um, under you extras, you do sidekick, and then you would pick the specific... Um, what that man said. Whether you wanted an expert, a, like a uh, healer, spellcaster, spellcaster, specifically healer or mage. Warrior. Um, and then warrior is like the fighter version. Yeah, so like for instance, Cran would be a level five healer. And we'd add on to the dryad stuff. Right. I can't. I'm sorry. It's fine. You're good. All right. So I'm going to say with that, let's go ahead and do our 10 minute break. Mm -hmm. We can come back with downtime activities, training, and whatnot. So that will be. Come on, Jackson. Right. What's that? Nine ten. <laughs> okay. Twenty one ten east. Righteous. Well done.
Hello. Merp. I, I do also love that um, you all as a whole are just like, yeah, we can go to Nicodromus, even though y'all have no idea what the hell, like, what is this duck? What is she talking about? We don't know. But Tonk says he needs to go to Nicodromus, so okay. <laughs> we didn't have any other better ideas. <laughs> <laughs> you say plan. Is this a plan? Beef jerky. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to read how on the rules, like how to go about making the sidekicks. Because I don't know if we have to use. Because sidekicks have in the extras thing have just ge generic stat blocks, or if we're going based off of the dryad stat block, and then they're just gaining sidekick levels. Yeah. Yeah. I... So I'm reading up in Tasha's <laughs> how to go about doing that. Also, you know, for the record, I'm I'm sad that there's not a single sidekick with sneak attack damage. <laughs> there, you mean there is. It massive. just doesn't scale the same. It's the expert and it's called coordinated strike. Obviously it's a sidekick, so it's not as massive damage, but I didn't yeah. see that time this time. Yeah, basically, so they get they get this thing called um, helpful, which lets them take the help action as a bonus action. At six, they get coordinated strike, which increases the range of helpful to thirty feet. And then when they attack that same creature, they deal an extra two d six damage. Mm. Um, and then inspiring help it, it at level eleven. Um. Mel, your key, is that the know. Infiltrator's key? That is correct. Ooh, yeah. Nice. And it's awakened now. Hold on, Ooh. if they can help as a bonus action, can they help themselves? No. I don't think that's how that works. Okay. Because it's just like, if they attack the same target, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, sidekicks are curious. I'm not sure I understand these. Yeah, so the coordinated strike damage just never increase because they're kind of just more... I, I feel like they're a combination of, like, um, rogue and bard in what they're trying to do. But they do get, like, five skills that they're proficient in. Light armor, either dex intelligence or charisma saves, and then... They get expertise at three, which is nice for two of their skills. Um, what level did you say they get the co the coordinated six. strikes? Because I'm looking at the expert level six sidekick in D and D Beyond, and it doesn't show that. Ha, they have it coded wrong. <laughs> what was yeah, coded they, wrong? D&D uh, &D Beyond coded the expert level 6 ability wrong. They gave it extra attack instead of coordinated strike. <laughs> That's supposed to be the warrior ability. Nice. Let, me check, or, let me check the warrior. Maybe they just have it backwards. So, Matt, are we just... We have to take the the base stat block of whatever expert level it is, or can we give the dryads five levels of the sidekick class? Five levels of sidekick class. Okay. Nope, they just coded expert wrong.
that's an endeavor. I'll have to code that later. <laughs> So, you've begun your sailing. Club, club, club. And the first few, first week has been so far so good. So, does that mean I've made the armors and the hand? Correct. Okay. So boys, you can uh, equip your armors. Yeah. Well, so um, this so the way we're going to work this is that um, at the end of the 6 weeks will be the official end of the downtime and you will get all rewards at that point. Oh, those only take 2 days. I got gotcha. you. Okay. But like we're just going to kind of do this as a voyage. Okay. At the end of the voyage you have done these things that way. Although there's going to be a lot of like in order to in the narrative. Yeah. I think it's going to be a little frustrating. Um, uh, because generally, you've, you've set the sail button to Nicodranus. Um, Autopilot on. Yeah. So, the way your, in, your, your invisibility works is that... Um, You can move at, basically, you would inst um, you would do half speed if you're going to use the flower, is the way it generally works. Um, and be the reason is because it would be nearly useless because of the, s you'd, be go you'd be making such a disturbance that it would be easily to figure out that something's there and thus see through the invisibility. Half speed for the Kestrel or half speed of normal ships? Half speed of the Kestrel. Therefore, since I said that it would be a, I believe, a seven week journey uh, to, or I said eight, I said eight weeks eight. to Nicodranus. If you were invisible the entire time, that would be 16 weeks. No, I don't know that we need to be invisible on our way there. We're not so, currently. So, unless you say we're going to kind of yeah. push this, that I'm not going to, we're going to assume that you're visible. Everybody okay with that? Because it seems more of a while well, we're approaching certain things that we want to be hidden, not necessarily yeah. an all the time ability. Uh, did we get the the Kest the new Kestrel flag made? I know we had started talking about one and having not officially part, no. part of the Val Savage crest being incorporated into it. No, and that's the other, just so you you are aware that as far as Concord agents on land, if you are a known member of the Reverie, you are almost instantly executed. Luckily, we are not members. <laughs> but, but we might be known to be members. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a difference there. <laughs> I don't know about right. you, but I carry that wanted poster with me all the time. To sleep with? Hmm. Exactly, you know. The one of us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, some of you are from pirating families. We are pretty high. <laughs> some. Some. I guess technically I'm half from pirating families. <laughs> <laughs> but I grew up in Port Zoon, so. So Ma Mal occasionally is on the deck of the ship looking around, possibly seeing ghosts, like literally nothing at all to be seen. And with a key in his hand, will randomly cast Pass Without Trace if he thinks he sees a ship. And maybe every day or so, be like, ah, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, we'll see. But like super twitchy and paranoid about the ship being seen or not seen. Mm. Okay, but outside of the revelry, would the Concord even know to recognize this ship? <laughs> maybe. If We're not a, wanted there um, yet. Yeah, if, there, if there's a revelry spy that tr is trying to like sell us out, um, again, like we we've been on the open seas before, like we've raided vessels before, like it's quite possible we've crossed the wrong lines. Yeah, Matt, I have a question. Sure, uh, it's more about Pyro's ability, right? Because you know, uh, one of our goals, right, was to um, t per permanently put Private Sanctum on the boat, right? 
Mm-hmm. And if we're traveling and we're not getting, um, or he's not getting uh, any long rest and just short rest. Well, I guess he could technically. Right. So, 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 yeah. So, correct. So, what we'll say is he's permanently does not have that level slot. Okay. But before the purposes of downtime, he is casting it every day. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. So, there's, there's kind of, yeah, I would say this is loosey goosey for the purpose of encounters. If there's yeah. something that is being cast every day, you never have that. And, but but you're not going to necessarily. So say, oh, yeah, um, I know what you mean. Okay, cool. Cassandra has that right, so they could like alternate, potentially. I think she does. If they were to cast it twice, could we speed no. it by half? <laughs> Unfortunately, not the way the magic works, well, to my I, knowledge. I love it, but yeah, it literally has to be every day for a year. So double yeah. and up doesn't really change it because with her being like fully I don't, I don't know if she's going to be traversing everything with us or if she's kind of just going to be you made her an official part of the crew right. no no, i know but i don't know if she's going to be traveling with us on all of our individual excursions right, is what right, I mean. right, right, right. so if she's if she's acting as you know acting Watch, captain right. while we're all on doing that and she's are, are we leaving her on the boat Right. Basically, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. So you probably would that way. The the spell could continue to get cast while Pyro is not there. Yeah, right. that, that was my thought process with it. That sounds good to me. Because that is actually more useful to us than having just another person mm. with us dealing right. with our shenanigans. Huh. So to Jaw, I need a perception check. Is this navigator's tools or just general? This is just general being a lookout perception. Why is it always low rolls? Nine. <laughs> oh. Nine? Yeah. <laughs> Does I, yeah, I rolled a four. Yep. All right. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Jajal. I'm not going to waste a flash of genius on that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. Not just has a higher passive than that. I mean, my passive is 15. (laughs) It's all good, bud. All right. In that case, it is night. Fucking night. (laughs) Tell me who is going to be... um, who generally? What is the general watch rotation? I I feel like I would be like mm, more towards like the evening and dark time, just because of my new like sight ability. I can see pretty far in the dark, so yeah, I think I'm, I'd probably prioritize the dark times. I'm probably closer to waking time due to like getting food ready and praying and stuff like that. So would you be last watch or would you be first watch so you oh. could wake up early? No, I'd probably be... Mm, you know, I probably do go to bed earlier and then wake up earlier than everyone else. I tend to go to sleep earlier. That's so you'd be first watch then? Um, uh, no, so no. He'd, be, he'd be last watch. Yeah. Mm. Um, I would probably be first watch then. If Jajal's taking, like, the dead of night. Okay. We need four, right? Two hours per? I do three. Oh, okay. I'll take the middle, and I'll do it in my room, still transcend everything, but I can see from the perspective of everything on the boat, so. Yeah. So, I thought I thought Jajal was middle. Oh, sure. However, it's being broken down just for nighttime, I suppose. Yeah, if, if we only need three, I then yeah, I don't think doubling up is bad. Yeah, I'm talking about for night when generally everyone is resting. Um, so yeah, so Tonk and Jajal, that's fine. Yes. And then, all right. So I need Caldrum. I need you to make a perception check. Uh, 
25. Generally, Jajal is responsible for the far off site here. If not, his uh, protege is manning the crow's nest or operating the crow's nest. But you are on watch generally from the decks. And you begin to hear a slight creaking of wood um, from the prow. Um, I would, for these, would we have our, um, seedlings, like, with us? Would that be fair? Like, they'd yeah. be doing the things that we're doing? Um, so I would motion to Cinemoris, um, to, like, keep eyes forward towards the prow, and I would, um, send Noctis, um, uh, kind of just, like, up in a spiral, like, kind of like lackadaisical to see if I can see something from his vantage point. And um, on his way up, tap J if Jajal's in the crow's nest or if, uh, I forget, it's Meadow, mm -hmm. Jajal is your, if Meadow's up there, just get their attention mm -hmm. in that way and I would start walking in that direction. Okay. It does here. Okay. You walk in the direction and you see two metal prongs come over the prow and see this circular body with arms that look made for grasping has a series of propellers on its back and water begins dripping off of it and it has a central like almost gem and gear like eye that shifts on its body it rotates and there's light that shines in a cone from it onto you white and then it kind of goes as it goes red and it begins to walk seemingly to go past you um i send noctis to like ring the warning bell and i will fire the uh bingles pink taffy pistol at it to try and stop it because i don't know what this is And it's going to be sharpshooter. Uh, shouldn't have been sharpshooter. <laughs> uh, it's only a 15 to hit. 15. Ding! It shoots, it breaks off the metal. Uh, second shot. Um... That's a good advantage, so I'm gonna burn a grit so that I can get advantage in sharpshooter. Uh, 22. 22 will hit. So it's still pistol, so d10. So 23 is the DC for either strength or dex, it's choice. It will get a 24. 
God damn. Um. All right. With that. Ning, 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 ning. The bell rings out. The kestrel shifts itself, tubes open so that it's loud in everyone's room, waking them immediately to the threat. Uh, soup's on. Uh, soup, soup. <laughs> Before I call for it, let me just go here. As each of you wake up, you, you hear the ship cracking by the weight of this heavy thing. Seems to be either to the side of you, for those of you who sleep on decks, and below. Now Cassandra quickly starts to grab a staff from beside you. Oh, what? What? Not that I staff. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> Verification. Verification. I don't even sit up. I just, I just connect. Yeah. Like, don't, don't sit up. Don't roll. Don't anything. Just. All right. In that case, everyone, go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, not too shabby. In the virtual dice. Oh, Mel, what thing did you take for your second, for your level 10 feature? So I, I thought about uh, Defender extensively and I ended up going with um, uh, Blindsight. Because oh, I'm a okay. human. I get in the dark a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Oh, so you got Blindsight now? Yes. Perfect. Well, it's yes. only to 10 the feet. <laughs> The feet. It's like it's close range combat if I'm obviously in the darkness. So helpful. Good to know. Versus I, versus plus one AC. I'll take it. I half expected you to take archery. Thought about it. <laughs> Thought about it. Yep. 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 Oh, hot damn. Oh, my. That is right. a rather, rather it's large boy. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not full Cthulhu, but it's close. Oh, so that's for sure a big daddy. I know Bioshock when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I was thinking more like um, Matt and Co. decided they were at the beach for too long and like found some random things in the surf shop, and now we have a bad guy to fight. All right, Jajal, um, you wake in at the bottom of the ship from the bow. Ring, 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 ring. What, uh, <coughs> what the hell's going on? Um, I'm going to, let's see, feline agility and move 60 feet up to the deck of the ship. Yep, you were able to just from your room dash up and get right up to the deck here. Is is that within thirty feet of whatever that thing is? Yes. All right. Um, with two hands, one on myself and one out towards the creature, I'm going to curse it 
Okay. And then for myself, I'm going to do mirror image. Ooh. That whip's giving you more than you're letting on, Joel. <laughs> Okay. So, whoom, a few Jajals appear behind. Your energy goes out. Uh, what's the curse you give it? Hexblade's curse. Hexblade's curse. Okay. Absolutely. He has a misfortune bringer that he has to deal with put, now, put so he, he's like, which curses is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. What are we doing? Um... Your energy blasts out here. There's this brief moment where its eye quickly flashes over to you and the light goes from white to green and its body focuses directly on you. Oh no. <laughs> well. Ooh. Okay. All right. Caldrum, it's her turn. Um, so in regards to Tinamoris, directly after my turn, unlike um, Noctis that can like take it like before me to give me the help action? Yes. Okay. Uh, so Noctis will do that. Uh, go and like flap in front of its eye that is now pointing at Jajal. And I'm going to still shoot with Bengals for the time being. Oh, sharpshooter. Uh, that's gonna miss because of the sharpshooter. Because that's uh, seventeen. I'm and assuming. Is, yeah. Um, it's harmlessly bounces off and doesn't seem to take its effect. Um, then I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. I will. Do I have that thing? I think I have that thing now. Let me just double check. Yes, I do have quick draw. Okay, so I will switch to bad news or soul forger and burn a grit and take a shot. Okay. Um, not sharpshooter because I'm having trouble hitting it. Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six hits. We roll one of those because of my piercer effect. That's worse. Uh, so, 10 piercing. Ten, 10 piercing, okay. Um, and we didn't make that magical yet, or did we? No, we have not. Neither of them are magical. I'm using this trip to make the pistol magical. Yeah, okay, so ting! You can see yep. it kind of dents it. But it definitely is, is loosening some of the panels. Um, I'm going to just action surge and take two more shots. Um, yeah, seeing that it's not. Yeah, no, not sharpshooter. Should have sharpshootered. 30. So. 30 hits. 21 damage. Okay. And then final shot. Still no sharpshooter. Uh, 24. 24 hits. Uh, 12 damage. Okay. Um, All right, so ching, ching, ching. It seems yes, like you're, being, you're, you're being, sitting in the same spot. It's sort of indenting. Yeah. Um, see, seeing that it's the same problem that I have with the vampires, I, I'll yell out to uh, hit it with magical effects. My bullets aren't getting through. Uh, then Cinemorus will... Um, He's just gonna run up and kind of like 
he's gonna use his helpful ability to like throw out some of the stalks of his like from his fingers like mm -hmm. toss out twigs to kind of distract it yeah and then take a strike with what is effectively his short sword hand which is also not magical for the time being uh that'll be uh 19 to hit 19 hits sweet uh a whopping six damage non-magical okay. right, yep so that'll be half to three um, Yeah, that's it. Okay. So next attack on it has advantage. Okay, it's its turn. Shit. Damn it, it wouldn't be for me. <laughs> Sensor eye shifts. It turns into this yellow electrical arc. Like, and strikes around um, to jaw. You should feel your body locking up. Make a constitution saving throw. It didn't go after one of my uh, my thingies. Uh, it is a save, therefore I don't yeah. believe that works. Okay, that's a twenty dirty. Dirty twenty. You feel yourself. You don't lock up. Whew. Oh man. But. Uh oh. We'll go ahead and move to the kitty. Move to the kitty. Okay. Move the big guy to the cat. The big guy. There you go. Yep. Move him right th there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, would that be leaving Cinnamoris's? Uh, yeah, right. go to take your attack of opportunity. Uh, that's uh, 19 again, so another 6 damage. Alright. 6 damage, <laughs> excellent. Non-magical, piercing. Absolutely. It's foreleg comes out to slash Shuja Jaw for 23. Let me roll a d20. And it destroys one of my illusions. Perfect. I got a natural 20 on that one. All right. Hey, guys, I'm <laughs> sorry. Something just happened here. I will be back yeah. in about three minutes. Um, no problem. No worries. Oh, man. I uh, don't think it likes me. It might really like me. I don't know. This isn't good. Like, to be fair, I'm I'm kind of glad it attacked you and not Cinnamoris. <laughs> Like, he's only got like thirty-three H or no, he he's got twenty-seven HP. Yeah, so there's so. a huge gap between old X, old HP and new HP because uh, I guess no, because no, because what what Matt said was that we're using we're giving the the dryads like the the dryads, not the hmm. like uh, sub things that we'd picked. We're giving the dryads uh, sidekick levels. I don't so even know how to do that. Yeah, it's something I'm gonna have to figure out how to code. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's gonna be irritating, but uh, I'll figure it out with Santa Morris, and then you guys can let me know what uh each of yours are doing, and I can once I figure mine out, it'll be easier to do the others. Do you guys know at least which classes you want them to be? Because I know I'm going expert for Santa Morris. I don't okay. even know what that means. All right. So it attacks, misses by hitting one of your images, which vanishes. It takes another hit for 25. Uh, this one has to be at eight and higher. Yeah. And it is a nine. Another one down. Let's go. <laughs> Big splinters of the wood go out. You... Um, Tonk, 
you can kind of hear Gaius kind of go, ah! As something has happened by this impacting so hard. And with that, Thola, it is your turn. You're muted if you're talking, Jalen. Jalen! Jalen, we cannot hear you. Body pass. All right, when he comes back, it will be his turn. Tonk, it is your turn. Uh, I'm, I am I got a 19. Oh. 19 for what? My initiative. I know. Yeah, he's it, saying it's your turn. Ago. Oh, I think he said Tonk. You didn't <laughs> respond when we told you. <laughs> Sorry, my, my, my son asked me. I was trying to find him. No, it's okay. Bed. It's my all bad. good. Um, <laughs> I already knew what I wanted to do, so I got it all planned out. Boom. All right. All right. So I get out of my room. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, so I set down this uh, reliquary, put it on the ground, boom. The celestial flies up, flies up 40 feet in the air. air. Yep, there. And it shoots. <laughs> and yeah, shoot its thingy thing. Uh, that's going to be... What is it? Plus. Why is it never. Oh, I forgot it does twice. Uh, the first one is going to be. What is it? Plus hit. Oh, it's my spell attack. Uh, 19? Uh, 19 hits. Okay. The second one is uh, 18. 18 misses. Thirteen radiant damage is it much on a bow there. And I'm gonna chill in my room, still there. But I uh tell Cran to go out and bless these folk, teach them. Alright, what damage is that, Duke? Radiant. What was the damage? I'm sorry. Uh thirteen. Thirteen was the thing, thank you. Uh and then um and then uh Cran is going to bless um the the Celestial, mm -hmm. Drum, and Jaja, because that's the only people she sees. Thank you. Many thanks. Plus is D4 to attack and saving throws? Correct. Sweet. All right, Tonk, it's your turn. So I would have immediately uh, started connecting to the ship. Um, I believe you said that it does take a full action to it do does. that. It does, so it would take your action this turn. Because everyone is responding to the bell this round. Okay. Um, so I would do that. Uh, and then with the senses I gained from attuning to uh, the Kestrel and Gaius and all of the saplings... Uh, do I see anything other than this one threat? Push your senses out. You get you get that this is the only threat on the ship right now. Okay. Um, I don't know that there is um Oh sure. As a bonus action, uh I cast Dragon's Breath on Jet and have Jet fly up to the top deck. Okay. Yeah, Whew. Jet gets up to the top deck, sees this thing. Uh, no, she won't be able to. Jet won't be able to attack this turn. Yeah, but Jet's up there and has Dragon's Breath. Absolutely. 
It's a bonus action to activate. Uh, yeah, it's a bonus action to have them attack. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Hey, friends. I just am going to apologize. All the minis I didn't put on the board as part of the fall got put on the floor and kind of went boom. It's so we okay. will be repainting <laughs> minis this week, which happens every once in a while because minis break. But we will be a little, little half doing this, unfortunately. All right. So Jet is there, certainly ready to attack next. Mal, you're with your room. Cast beside you. My action, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Look at Cass and say, the usual, follow me up, less fire is better. Then we're upstairs. Okay. All right. Art department had spares. <laughs> <laughs> the best. <laughs> Gotta love them. <laughs> All right. So get up there. And I know I have Jet somewhere. Here's Jet. All right, um, before you left, um, Cass uh, smacks you on your ass and Cass haste. <laughs> nice! Haste. <laughs> haste. What, what, is, what is this? Oh. Extra attack plus two to dex <laughs> advantage on dexterity saving throws and double speed. Jesus, H. That's amazing. One weapon attack, not a whole extra attack action. One extra, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Come on. So it only being leaving the door, walking upstairs, and then seeing this monster creature thingamajiggy. I assume I have an attack or two to go. Uh, you're right there. You can get it if you want. Cool. So given that it's there and I have... Okay, so for, for clarity, I'm no longer attuned to the key or the quiver. It's the tricorn, the family sword, and the rapier yeah. warning-ish, whatever that is. Yeah, and as a note, um, for all of you who were not on watch, you do not have armor equipped mm, okay. for, for a night attack like this. Okay. I will turn off the armor. This will be super special. But I think it's easy enough for you to grab your weapons and grab your hat. And your uh, shields also. <laughs> you're, you're, you're technically up to what you were. Uh, it's, not, before it's not terrible. Like, like your your armor equates to the magic that she adds on to you. So I will close with the new beastie. Start with the first two attacks with the uh, brand new shiny rapier of warning question mark. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> it's not sure if it's actually true to its word, but we'll find out. You should see what's coming tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. I think you're right. So first attack is a hard fail. All right. Second attack is a much better. Let's call that a bum, 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 modifiers included. That's going to be a 14. A 14. Uh, 14, 14, 14 will miss, yes. Cool. Let me go ahead and burn the action surge. The two more hits. It's going to be a critical. Nice. nice. You automatically have the third hit from haste. Oh wait. Without the yes. Surge, right? the, the first the first attack should have been made an advantage because of that's the first attack that's happened since mm -hmm. Cinemoris used the help. Ah. Action. Ah. So that so, second roll would effectively be this first attack. You roll the fourteen and now this. So this first attack. Yes. Is... <laughs> okay. So so now we're at my first of at least three. So, attacks so now we're we're at second of three. <laughs> second so, of three. Awesome. It's a crit. All right. Oh, that's nice. I like this. Uh, this works out pretty well. Um, with the new rapier, that's going to be a grand total of 19. Nice. Nice. Just, just 19. Just 19. No big deal. 19 damage, yeah. Uh, as not useful as it, as it is in a certain respect, its enchanted blade does begin to carve through the metal husk of this and get a deep gash trying to get into the inner workings. Fantastic. So I guess now second of third? So, yeah, oh, no, well. this is third of third. Third of third? So this would be That's the, gonna the be hasted attack. A <laughs> yeah. second critical. <laughs> oh, shit. A 
Yes. The second, yeah. second critical. All right, critical. Yeah. <laughs> Rerolling the three. Uh, didn't do better, so that's eight plus fifteen damage. Nice. My man was sneaking burgers. Let's Left go ahead. Burger <laughs> Burn that action surge for two more attacks. All right. Yeah, does does he get another hasted one from the action surge? No, it's just the okay. singular. What did you get on the uh, critical? Critical. The critical. Yeah. What the, was the damage? The the damage was. Uh, and critical number two. Fifteen on the second. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Continue. All right. So that's gonna be. Not gate, but we'll try it. That's gonna be a. Wah, 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 wah. 15 to hit. 15 uh, bounces off the metal shell. Cool. And then the last of the uh, standard attacks is a 19. 19 hits. Cool. That's going to be 12 damage. Okay. And then for the bonus action, I'd like to toss the uh, Savage Sword up in the air and attack with the, uh, the yeah. Flying Sword <laughs> as the extra, extra, extra attack. Spiders. Because, you know. Six attacks. We know how that works, right? Isn't that strange? All right, that's going to be 16 to hit. Miss. All right, that's all my attacks. <laughs> all right. Um... I totally forgot about Belladonna. Are we are we playing with with the saplings? Uh, yes. So go ahead and do Belladonna. Okay. So um, having to bounce between a couple sheets because we haven't gotten them all put together yet. But um, there's the advantage so, of being attacked on your ship. <laughs> so uh, Belladonna would come up from the wood. Um, sort of back and to the side of the thing, and okay. be stealth-like. Uh, would you would you like me to roll stealth? Uh, if she's attempting to kind of get an advantage here, yeah. Yes, that is exactly what she's doing. She wouldn't get uh, attacking from unseen. Uh, no, because that, that's she doesn't get she doesn't get it automatically. She doesn't make a okay. stealth check. Uh, well, she nat 20 did. <laughs> All right. Uh, for a total of? Uh, let me let me do the math here, because this is... Okay, hold it. Sidekick. Uh, Would you have given her proficiency? 32. <laughs> Our expertise, apparently. <laughs> Absolutely. Belladonna comes up. No creaking, silent vine of thorns. Yeah. Um, and is going to attack with advantage for all of the worthlessness of this short sword. Why well, you gotta say it like that? My attacks are doing the same amount as theirs. Yeah, yeah, I feel I feel bad now because like <laughs> Yes, but you guys have multiple attacks. At least it's, she's she's one. She's one. She hasn't hit level six, so she hasn't gotten the extra attack or the coordinated strike. Whichever one she gets. Yes, it's the coordinated, that's just a D D beyond error. Um So 22 to hit. That hits. And 6 physical damage. Okay. Reduced to 3. She yes. <laughs> 3 damage. Yeah. Hey, Go her. Hoom <laughs> tink. Go her. <laughs> So, Mal, you could do Rasmith now. I mean, Rasmith's just holding the prow right now. Oh, totally. yeah, yeah, it's keeping the highly, ship. Highly disciplined, keeping the boat in order. <laughs> Forget. Doing their job. Uh, yep, yeah, Sandra did her action as the enchantment. Uh, Jajal, 
you are underneath this thing. It has towered over you. The eye now kind of looking, is rotated down to the bottom of it, keeping its uh, red gaze, uh, green gaze on you. And it's my turn? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this is creepy. It's weird. It's looking at me. It wants to touch me. I'm running, and I'm going to uh, start moving my way towards the prow of the ship. Okay. Now, I'm assuming it's going to try to attack me? Question mark? It is going to attempt to do a grapple attack. Okay. Here, so... Uh, so you can resist with acrobatics or athletics? Do what I... If it's an attack, do I roll my last uh, illusion? Um, only if it would, I guess, hit. So roll your first two, you resist. Okay, um, acrobatics. With your bless. Oh, um, so that's, that's, a, be... that's, a, that's not a, it's not a saving throw, it's, it's a check. A save. Oh, it's a save? No, 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 you, you, you rolled correctly. Bless oh. is for saving throws and attacks. I am so. wrong. Guidance is for checks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it, uh, I rolled a 29. <laughs> okay, so no need to burn your mirror image. You just whoom, get out safely. Okay, then I'm going to bonus action dash. And then as it looks like I'm about to run off the front of the ship, I'm going to burn my second slot as spider climb. Okay, come down. What the shit? And then I'm just going to kind of be standing, like, kind of close to the water but not really because I'm like so I run off the side of the ship but I'm still on the ship I'm just kind of like on the side if that makes any sense so it thinks that I just dove off but I'm actually standing there on the side of the ship using spider climb like standing like horizontal with the uh, <laughs> with the water yeah. but out of sight yeah <laughs> and that's my turn <laughs> you got to see it hanging out right there. Yep. What is this damned fool cat doing? <laughs> I'm running. It's trying to touch me. Since when have you ever run from somebody's touch? Do you see this thing? Cowdrum, it's your turn. Um, seeing how ineffectual my uh, guns are going to be, I'm just going to try to restrain it. So I'll have um, Noctis uh, try to, like, blind its eye and take the first shot with uh, Bengals uh, okay uh, with advantage with sharpshooter. Yeah. okay so that's uh, yeah that's 31 minus 5 so uh, that's gonna be DC 19 to resist okay so 19 damage is coming at it. It's got to roll 19 or higher. And it rolls a 14. Ooh. Okay, so I actually, I got it. You got it. So, oh. Oh, 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 I was waiting. Yeah, for, for so, so yeah. So, <laughs> boom. Uh, this pig goo just wraps all around it. It is silence. It is restrained and it is grappled. Not prone though, right? Just restrained. Uh, can, correct. Can a big sphere be okay. prone? I don't know. Okay, so um, you know what? Since I got it, I will try. I might as well get my chip damage in. Uh, switch to Soul Forger again and uh, Sharpshooter since I have Bless. Uh, so that's going to be 25 to hit after Sharpshooter. And... Twenty-six half to 13 damage. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. It will attempt to break out of it 
with its action. Uh, Cinnamoris, real quick. Yeah, sure. Since it's restrained, so I have advantage. Uh, nice, natural 20. Let's go, Cinnamoris. That's going to be uh, 11 have to 5. Get there, buddy. All right. Uh, and then he'll back away. Or I guess he would provide the, the help action with helpful and then back away. Yes. Yeah, there's dead on that weapon that I forgot to give you, but it's okay. I'm going to leave it as it is for this fight. Okay. And then we will change it after. Mm hmm. That's all right. And then it tries to break away and gets an 18. That save was 19, right? Uh, correct. Cannot get away. So it's your turn. Oh, I see what you need to add. <laughs> That'd be confusing to have to remember to, each time. I'm about to jump this mug. Okay. <laughs> uh, so standing within my doorway still in my room, is it 15 feet away from me? Um... It's like actually your door. You open it and you. It is right there. <laughs> okay. You well, cannot just, get out of your room. Okay, that's that's totally fine. <laughs> I don't need to get out of my room to cast spirit. Uh, to not not spirit guards to cast spiritual weapon. So spiritual weapon up. Oof. Um, and uh, since it's right there, first I'm going to just hit it with my rapier uh, while I'm casting spiritual weapon. Oh, well, the sun blade now. Sun rapier. Sunny boy. Plus two. Plus two. Okay. Uh, great. That's going to be 22. And 22 hits. That's going to be a nine radiant. Okay. And then uh, now it's the, um, the rapier. All right. Eighteen misses, right? Eighteen misses, yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep it up there, um, and then now it's the. Um, the you rolled that at a message, skills. right? Oh no, I didn't. Was I supposed to? Because it's still restrained. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Well, one is not any better. Yeah, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, so now it's going to be Celestial. So the Celestial gets advantage on his attacks, is what I'm hearing. Uh, yes. Oh, that's a 20 and a 7. So that's for the first attack. All okay. right. Yeah. 20 as in nat 20 or 20 Correct. total? Correct, nat, nat 20, so 28. <laughs> and that's uh, 213, so that would be plus 8, which is 21. So natural 20 for 28 and then 21. That hits. All right. They both hit. So he fires a bow out. This is the first one. Keep that 11 plus... Wow, two 11s plus, plus that is 36 radiant damage for that critical. And then nice um, for the what, one, seven plus seven, 14 for the second attack. Sorry, what were the attacks? So was 36 uh, damage yeah, for radiant. Yeah, 36. And then, and then uh, 17. Or four, 14, sorry, 14. 14, that's slashing? Or uh, no, radiant. radiant. It's radiant. radiant. Perfect. And then um, Cran is just keeping concentration on Bless. And she's just going to chill. Chill, you know, right next to me. That's all. All right. Tonk. So... Uh... Is there anything I can do 
So we, we've talked a little bit about what I can do with my actions as far as if we're in a naval combat, shooting cannons, moving the ship, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything I can do at this point? Like, can I use I my action to boost the saplings? Can I... I would say you can give a help action by possibly like having the ship turn a certain way so you can decide to give a, the help action to anyone on the ship. Okay. Um, yeah, this is definitely designed more for a naval battle position rather than a yeah. Uh, no, no, that's, intruder. that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I just I didn't know what was going on, so I went <laughs> here. Well, first. right. Yeah, you made this decision. Yeah. That was a good idea. Okay. Um, here's another thought, and this is I'm just curious. Uh, when talking about my senses and being in tune with the ship, you you said it was almost like familiar in that way. Uh, and the last time I was attuned to a different ship, uh, I effectively could cast through the ship. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Is is that a thing? <laughs> that is. Th that is not how it was originally designed. I will think about that. <laughs> okay. But but I feel like in this moment, that is a lot to just say yes to. No, that's outside fair. Outside of the original design of, of the ability. That is that is legit fair. Uh, <laughs> I, I can deal with, we'll tackle that later. Um, so what I will do, though, is I can cast a spell... Uh, from Jet. Because he's got Dragon's Breath on him? Yes. Uh, well, Jet has Dragon's Breath, but also a familiar can be... Right. So you yeah. can do that. I think that's... Yeah. So, so we'll figure out about the whole ship. But Jet is going to cast Water Blast. Okay. Does it have to have a range of touch for a familiar? Good question. I believe so. Oh, is that is that it? Familiar has to just be if it's a touch, the familiar can touch it. I think like uh, specific like classes. Yeah, it, it's it's the last paragraph. Uh, when you cast a spell with a range of touch, your familiar can deliver it. As if you okay. had cast it. Okay. Well, then th th that's that's not a range of touch. <laughs> Um, Where's your shocking grasp? <laughs> uh, uh, like, what do I have that's touch? Nothing that's useful here. Fantastic. Um, Rock the boat. Rock the boat. <laughs> well, so, so there's already helpful on it? Or, no, Thola used the Helpful? Well, it's restrained currently. Oh, so Helpful isn't even really needed. <laughs> cool. Um, then there's no point in rocking the boat. Uh, I, <laughs> I guess my action is just gonna get wasted here, and that's, that's fine, I guess. Um, however, uh, there is gonna be some Dragon's Breath. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're going to do, uh, a DC 16 dex save to the restrained creature. Disadvantage. Yeah. It's weird providing support as a, a gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. It, it's, uh. Oh my gosh. At disadvantage, I rode two natural 20s. 28. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take that here. What? We'll take that on the saving throws. <laughs> Much rather take that on the saving throws than its attacks. All right, so you get half. Uh, you get uh, so it's eighteen fire halved to nine. Okay. Yep. Some of the metal begins to heat up and malform and melt. 
Uh, cool. Um, then Belladonna is going to cast Shillelagh. Nice. Because Shillelagh better than Short Sword. <laughs> Super familiar with this, so I'm sorry looking at things. Uh, it'd be uh, three plus her wisdom modifier. So just the dryad um, wisdom. Uh, dryads are charisma casters. Oh, true. So that. So three plus her charisma. Uh, so, 21 to hit. 21 hits. For 12 damage. Magical. Okay. Absolutely. She hits in there and she's able to strike in and actually rip a metal plate off, exposing this, um... Moat of uh, of energy that's sitting at its center. Uh, and that's gonna be it. All right. Now, having seen the armor get actually chinked and being very close to it, um, Mal's gonna go ahead and go for two more hits with the rapier. Okay. All right, it's gonna be uh, 23 to hit. 23 hits. Yep, and non-critical, by the way. That lands a 10 damage. Okay. Second hit's gonna be 14 to hit. Should miss. Yeah, it misses. All right, and then via haste, one more. Which will put us on a 17 to hit. You're rolling those at advantage, it's right? It's going to miss. Uh, are they all advantage? Yeah, because it's restrained. restrained. Oh, shit. You're right. Um, <laughs> that doesn't do better. That does do better. That's a 19 to hit. The last one. 19 hits. All right. And by the way, that's a critical. So let's go ahead and roll a whole lot. <laughs> that's going to be Hashtag a... Hashtag champion. Uh, right. <laughs> advantages to odd numbers. Um... Plus, it's gonna be a uh, twenty damage. How do you want to do this? Oh, um, I mean, short and easy. Start right in the middle and just push off the boat. Get off <laughs> my goddamn craft! Oh, don't fucking push it off the boat. We can use that body. It's a it's an attitude problem. I promise. Yeah, that's okay. Tonk can go get it. We'll make him get it. <laughs> Who makes it think yeah, Tonk will be able to go get it? Look, just because I have a swim speed and underwater breathing doesn't mean I can haul that thing back up. Yeah, so you hit strike, you see the motive energy, everything kind of crumples, but stays together as you push it off the boat. God damn it, Mal. Do you know how much that useful sinks. metal was on that? Uh, you it, have to stop was, being so... Fine. Ugh. Fine. Fine. Next time... I'll save it for you to, to deal with. No problem. Hundreds of gold Sorry. worth of metal that I could have reforged. One of you wizard people can't just pull that thing back up and like harvest it for parts. Is that how that works? Do you know how quickly that sinks in water? <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't pass elementary school. What do you want? You know how to swim. You've seen treasure sink. Yeah, you keep kicking and you stay up. That's it. Is it dead? It's You're dead. alive? It's dead. Your child's dead. I hop back up. All right. So, so Matt, Matt, I'm gonna ask if you can, <laughs> if you're gonna let me do something. Oh boy. And oh, we're talking shenanigans here. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen, I have seen the Kestrel grab large creatures. Yeah. <laughs> can I grab this thing? Um, let's see, so that's Tonk, then Mal, that'll be a full turn. 
Uh, I will say... I believe the Kestrel should have a dex score. Oh god, I need to find this. That I provided. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you did. <laughs> uh, uh, seven, minus two. Oh, All right. wonderful. So make a dex check. We'll call 15. So, so my chances are not very good. Got it. You got a 20% yeah. chance. There's still a chance. You said minus two. That's only a 12. Oh. So the roots go uh, unable to grasp it. All right. No, that's fine. So so next time I just leave the corpse, right? Someone <laughs> pitch that man overboard. <laughs> so does anyone want to take yes. a guess as to no. who sent that? Uh, well, it's, it's, hard. it's hard to get any more information off the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got it. Understood. I, I see where I fucked up. I got it. Next question. Go back to bed. The style is great. To be in bed. I love the poise, but come on, man. I, mean, I will say. It. I will say, as an artificer, that was some very skilled work. That thing looked as advanced. As toe tip with more lethality. But why was it here? Why does anything chase us? I mean, because we're good looking, or at least I am. I don't know about y'all. That's <laughs> probably true. <laughs> and. Do we go back to sleep? So... <laughs> okay, yeah. This had to have come from the island. Did this belong to the lady? I don't remember seeing anything like that before. I also don't recall seeing Cause, anything cause like that. The only other way anybody would, would have known where we were is if something had seen the mark from the sexton. But could anything have gotten to us within a week? It did, apparently. But like, we have the vampires that can see the ship whenever one of Gaius's seedlings comes fully to life, matures, I don't know the proper terminology. Do you want to, do you want to take this? There's also the Plank King, who we believe can still see through a sigil on one of my belongings. Gods only know what the... Oh, lords. We didn't have anybody check us for those of us that walked through the arches. There was some kind of effect as I walked through them, but with all the hustle and bustle we were going through and preparations and deciding where and what to do. I forgot to ask you to check for that. Alright, I'll detect magic. Every, everybody on the deck so I don't have to do this once. Um, my Celestial is going to start poking at um, Caldrum with like the butt end. Or not Caldrum, but Mal. Like the butt end of its, its bow, just like poking him. What, 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 what's the deal? <laughs> it's like flying away, so like every time Mal like tries to like reach at it, it's like right out of his reach. Yeah, like, <laughs> just tormenting him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll ritual cast the tech magic and see if I can see anything lingering on any of us that went through the arches. Uh, I mean, I'm probably lit the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> To be fair. All right. Um, I have questions. Yeah. As I, as I just yeah. look at Jajal, <laughs> I have questions. Uh, but first. Yes. 
So, Caldrum has three effects that you don't recognize, that you're not sure what the heck is going on with. Dejaw has four. <laughs> Mal has two. Pyro has five. God damn. <laughs> Am I the only one that's clear? You got teleported and, past and them. Open? So. Damn. Yeah, you got teleported through it by uh, Bayatet, and uh, I actually made all of my checks. <sighs> okay. I couldn't so... help how bad I was rolling. This is one motivational speech. It does well. <laughs> I have a plus five to my wisdom saves. So, um, what is needed for me to better... Like, identify is normally for an object. If you touch a person, I... you can get more specifics for identify. All yeah. right. It says it on the spell. So I, I, I guess I'm spending more of my night time here. <laughs> uh, we're, we're figuring this out before anybody goes to bed. Oh, man. Says you, I go into my room, shut the door, and my slush seals outside. <laughs> <laughs> Dolo, you maybe needed to help dispel the effects. I, I uh, move Cran outside. <laughs> Cran's not powerful enough. I start snoring. No, I'm just kidding. Like fake snoring. Like clearly fake snoring. Um, so who do you want to identify? Okay, let's um, let's let's start with Mal. Mal just has two, okay. and Mal's the captain. Let's and Mal's get very this, simple. Let's get this sorted. Okay. Identify. Um, Mal has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Disadvantage on all saving throws from the lady. You get back the lady from it. Okay. Is effect number one. Effect number two, the lady always knows where Mal is. Son of a bitch. We can't help but be tracked. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Thilo, we need we need some of that. I'm assuming remove remove curse or dispel, dispel magic? magic. Dispel magic, and these are seventh level. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! So you're telling me I have like a, a collar on me that you can track me by? That's super weird. <laughs> and you only had two. She's a slave owner. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. I'm just. Of, okay. of, of fate-touched people, so they're more powerful than the average bear. <laughs> He's such a um, cool character. <laughs> Evil as shit. Yeah, Creed, if you're watching, you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? He what? said he's the one that did the stack block. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Creed, I can't believe you'd betray us like this. <laughs> to be fair to Creed, I made the pillars. Oh. <laughs> All right, so can we get some dispel yes. magic on Mal? Who has dispel magic? Thola. I think uh, she's you, if you knock on the door, I might answer. <laughs> Should we wait until we're done so she knows how many she's got to do? I mean, my guess is all of you. <laughs> um, but sure. We'll, we'll save the removal oh, for later, Christ. I guess. We're not um, going to be able to get them all off right now. With the new my, travel rules. Yeah, with the new travel <laughs> rules, we're not going to have enough spell slots. Not to my out. spell slots cost money now. You're going <laughs> to <play up. laughs> <laughs> well, do you want a fridge or a clean crew? Choose one. You, you know, hey, I paid. I paid one. If you want to uh, pay the rest, all right. Yeah, so I let's... paid three fifths. So eh. you did. You did. Okay. So mile disadvantage and location. Yep. 
just give her the location. It's fine. All right, all right. Does anyone knock on my door? Uh, not yet. Uh, next, next, I'm gonna do Caldrum. Because he had the three, right? Yep. So he has those two. And in addition, the lady may cast from this person's position. What the fuck? If she is within 300 feet. Damn. Okay. Semi fooked or mostly fooked? Choose one. Your surprise attack on the lady was very vital to your success. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had a natural critical had I just been able to hit first. <laughs> yeah, man. That was a very good move. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised we got out of there, honestly. <laughs> I'm very surprised. Same. So next, we're going to do Pyro. Okay. So Pyro has those. Um... The fourth uh, is uh, the lady um, may, within a distance of 100 miles, dimension door to this person's position. Jesus. Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This, is, this will be great skills for Kanye West. He probably needs these right now. <laughs> and 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 next and the fifth one is um dc of all charm effects go up by 10 God oh. damn. that's such a jaw rule right okay <laughs> uh now? So for someone who would intake everybody who she wants in there through these, then she has very good control over the people she purchases. So. Now we do Jajal. Okay. <laughs> Um, as far as Jajal themselves, they just have those five. I thought Jajal only had four. Sorry, it says the first four. So they're cumulative as to how they would go on. Uh, so Dimension Door but not Charm? Correct. Does he get, like, the Lash effects and everything else? No. No, because he's touching you, not the Lash. Okay. Yeah. He technically knows what the Lash does already. I think. Or he has an idea of what the lash does because he didn't get to identify it. He just arcana checked it. So I am going to try and do something my character is not good at. Uh, I am going to try a deception here. Uh, and I am going to act a little startled and look at Jajal and say those mirror images they're they're not coming from they're not coming from the the whip where are they coming from <laughs> so that would be against my insight uh, yeah so I need to roll the deception here no. So that would be passive insight. I think. Uh, so, and just just so that I'm on top of this, I'm going to flash of genius myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that that's 21 on the deception. Um, hmm. Your insight modifier is what? Uh, my passive is 11. My modifier is 1. one. Plus yeah. one. So, you believe him. I... Um... Don't know. 
I uh, <laughs> I don't have uh, any idea what. Uh... What? <laughs> what? And I run off the ship again. <laughs> <laughs> Spider claim lasts an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just look at Calderman and Mal, and I'm like, "You, you guys saw that, right?" There's, yeah, yeah. But, but, I've I've seen him do a number of things that I, I don't know what a weapon of that caliber can do. I've seen mm. him transform into the Plank King. He's got his new, very loud whip strike that I've seen him do, and sword strikes. With uh, that leaves a like a, a residue of arcane energy around the things he hits. True. Uh, the this duplication of his is the, this is the first I've seen of it. I got I got a good idea of what the whip does. Yeah. So this and, is before the whip, I'm, though. I'm not surprised. Didn't didn't some of you gain abilities from the library? Do you still have those? No. <laughs> Books. <laughs> no, we lost those when we left. Uh. Does it still the, have- the the whip leaving residue or being being loud? I I don't know if those could be from, but but the the climbing on the sides of things and the the mirror image those those aren't from the whip, as far as I can tell. And the way he responded to that question makes me think uh, he he knows that too. So Tonk, did y'all had a moment in the middle of the night? before the whip even existed, before we even knew about the whip, that I couldn't quite explain. Top deck, around the time the vampire was reaching out to him, and he, he responded in a way I couldn't quite explain. I'm not saying I know what's going on or what, what the thing was, but like, it was definitely unusual. That was before the whip, so. I'm no magic cleric caster thingamajiggy, but like, that felt weird to me. Okay, all right. Well, there's nothing we can do about that right now. Uh, in, in in the meantime, I go over and knock on Thola's door. I, I've been I've been casting now for like almost another hour. <laughs> Jalen, you're muted. Damn it. Um, all right. So by this time, if it's been an hour, the celestial has gone. So he doesn't have someone trying to block his way. Uh, she wakes up. And she has like a bonnet on and like her night clothes. And she's like, yes, Tonk. We, we need some dispel magic. <sighs> Who's first? Pyro. Will he I just die or what? I look at him and like, do you think He's... we could take away all his magic? <laughs> I, I, I don't think we want to. Um, Fair enough. The magic, the magic that's on him is it's strong. Now let me see what I can do. And um, she doesn't, and she'll ask, like, what, you know, what's afflicting him, and if there's anything that is dire that we should get rid of first. Um, DC of Charm and Dimension Door are to the top of that list. Um, I mean, it's going to take, I don't know how, how much you can do, but all four of them need help. But every single one of them is giving away our location, so that's not a priority for Pyro Wait, right now. Wait, is that would not the spell that Pyro's been casting to hide our presence? Wouldn't that block it for the time being? The spell blocks scrying specifically. Well, this... the divination magic it is, but I mean the dimension door is in div- divination, so technically, if she was near, well, she could. No, but it's the. All of all of these 
effects give mm -hmm. our location away to the lady. Right. I am not sure if Sanctuary blocks this. Right, right. Exactly. The private sanctum? Yeah, this, this seems thing. like a yeah. different, like, a special ability, you know, mm -hmm. so. Um, she will focus on the, the the top one and dispel magic and see if all of them fall off or um, if just the one. Um, she'll, she'll so, so, so the way it works is you make a roll for each effect. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Let's do this. All right. So you, you just got to roll a 12 on all of them. <laughs> Thanks, bud. 12 times. <laughs> Appreciate you. You got this. I love you, too. Well, that one's a 13, so that's 21. Okay. Uh, no, it's it's just your wisdom modifier added, if I'm not mistaken. It's I your... thought it was plus the spell. Uh, no, not a spell on. attack, plus the... Uh, oh. It's, it's an ability check using your spell casting ability, so just wisdom. Right. Oh, wait, is your oh. wisdom maxed? No, it's four. Okay, so, so you need 13. So that was 17. Yeah. Okay, 17. Uh, so we'll say the one where she knows where Pyro is. Okay. Next. I guess I won't waste another on this. So, board. no, with the same dispel, you roll for every effect. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. Ah, shit, that hurt. Okay. <laughs> you good, buddy? No, I hurt myself. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that's why I'm asking, are you good, buddy? Like, we heard uh, the cry I, of pain. I try to catch my dice and hit another dice. Um, you hit the D4, didn't you? <laughs> Cow chop. <laughs> So, uh, let me, uh, roll again. Okay, that's a five, so that won't do anything. And, and I can't even save that. Yeah. Right. Uh, that one's a 16, so plus four is 20. Mm -hmm. Um. So, so which one goes away there? Well, I'm just gonna keep rolling. Uh, that one's a 12 plus... I'm sorry, I, I might have gotten confused. What was your first roll? Was it a 16? Uh, no, Seven, first... 17. Yeah, first one was 17. Okay, because that's second what one was Perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay, second one was 9. Okay. Um, the other one... This one is... Um, 20. Six, no, yeah, 20, and then I just rolled a, a 16. Okay. Uh, I'll burn a flash of genius on that. Okay. So that... Well, there's one more, I think, because he had, Pyro has five on him. Yeah, and there's one more roll. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen plus four, that's a nineteen. Okay. So then the only one that Pyro has currently is the dimension door. Okay. I'll take that. That's actually very um, useful. I'm more willing to lend a slot for the next slot hole. Who has it the worst? Uh, Jajal has it the next worst. Uh, uh, Jajal's off. Oh, he's gone. Trip, he's gone. So. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna care. holler out Jajal and just be like, "We need to cleanse the lady off of you." I don't know why <laughs> that's even more you, dirty. You should cast. You should cast it while he's on the side of the ship, so that spider climb goes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. I thought about shooting him and restraining him. <laughs> I am too quick. It would go over my, or I would catch it. <laughs> You're not a monk. <laughs> oh gosh! All right. Um, D does Jajal come back out? Uh, I'd say probably after like a good ten minutes, he just kind of like peeks up and over to see. So probably like, while I was doing it for Pyro, you're probably peeking over. Yeah. I'm like, I, with my well, passive perception, I definitely probably notice him, and I just like my left hand, my pointer finger and just points him over. But come here with the finger. I'll, I'll make my way over there slowly. <laughs> I thought you were about to say make me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really in any rush. Uh, I say, I could, I can make you, Jadal. Um, <laughs> and I want to get back to sleep. So let's make this quick. And I will burn another Third level dispel magic. I must like you guys a lot. Um, and he has four of them, right? So four rolls. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, that one's a 14. 
That one's a twenty-two. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll boost the fourteen to eighteen. Okay. And that one. The second I'm, one's a twenty-two. I'm running low on my flash of geniuses here, but I want this stuff gone. F feel that. Uh, Seventeen for that one, and the fourth one is a five. Okay. okay. All right, so the dimension door sticks. The other three are gone. Okay. Must we finish this all tonight, Tonk? Oh. We have other options, too. Yeah, here's the thing. Remember the rules. You don't get recharged. Right. I think we got the worst of it. I don't know that we're going to get all of this taken care of as fast as we would like. But I think we got the priority ones down. All right. If that leaves two, Cass can do two. I was going to say, uh, Cass, remember that time I came back from Romacusp with that weird itch? Uh, <laughs> could you do mm, that again? One wonders what you were up to. No, uh, she goes, how many? <laughs> At least a couple. Mm -hmm. Caldrum and Mal. Another Mal. Yes. All right. So, uh, let's see if right. Creek Snapperlock comes in our favor now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, so she'll do Mal. So, first effect <laughs> that is a 15. Which will not do it. Second is a 19. So which one got burned? Uh, so we were aiming, I think uh, the idea was aiming for the location first. Yes. So that's kind of what the idea was. All right. So you still have disadvantage on anything with the lady. I any saves from the lady, but location's gone. Okay. And then and Cal, Cal had three, right? Yes. I did, yeah. That's what you said. Oh, by the way, thank you, Thola. Mm. Yes, you all owe me one, but when do you not? And I go in my room and I close the door. All right. Getting a little like, she's like, mm, come here, cow jump. <laughs> and uh, lets our power trying to rip this off for you feel a little bit of a pain. That's going to be a 15, a 16, and a 24. So she will remove the lady knows where you are. Okay. So, Caldrum, you still have disadvantage, and if the lady is within 300 feet, she can cast from your location. Yep. All right. That might be the best we're going to get for now. It is what it is. Told you it's like your home cusp, mostly, except I smell better this time. Hmm. Quite by degrees. Mm. Do, do we think Seems. that came from the lady? <laughs> Probably. Did it attack anyone else? Um. It looked at me when I first spotted it and shot it, but then when you cursed it, it seemed, or when you caused that, whatever you did, when you touched yourself and it looked at <laughs> it, I don't know, it switched its gaze. You've got some splaining to do. Hold, hold on, Caldrum, would you have told us, like, as we're talking about switching its gaze, would you have mentioned that it shined the, the red light on you? Oh, I would have given... I mean, now that we're out of combat, I'd definitely give a description of what I saw. It wasn't looking for you, Caldrum. It was looking for Jajal. I don't know if Jajal was the only one it was looking for, but it saw what? you, you did not match, and it walked past you. Really? Everything else that was happening, and it was locked on... It also ignored on. Cinemoris and went straight for Jajal. So... I... Invisibly shrinking, like <laughs> ears down. Like, Ugh. you said you worked for her in the past, 
yeah, I was less intelligent then. Um, I didn't understand fully Debatable. the ramifications of working for such a person. I just, coin was coin. Did she find you, or did you go to her? Uh, I, it's been a while, I... Because from what Viet and them all said, she, she wants the fate touched. It just kind of happened. It's... I don't, I don't know. I I didn't really know what I was doing back then, so whatever paid good, I, I did. I mean, you don't have to know, but you probably saw some things. I say everybody can make an intelligence check. <laughs> not helpful. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yep, not with an eight. Oh, wow. 19. 19. 18. 22. 22. Tonk. Um, <clears throat> it occurs to you. They talked about fate touched, about people who are chosen for some type of destiny or may or possibly prophesied about. And you begin looking over your ship, your crew. As you have a captain who must keep their line going to prevent some crazy thing from happening. A woman who bears a sword that was passed down from generations. A bearer of the weapon of the gods and yourself attempting to create a whole new world. And Caldrum's constant talk of making a weapon to please and to impress the gods. And Pyro, who wishes to release a deity. Shit. We're all, we're all on the ladies list now. What, because we attacked her? No. They say she hunts fate touched. By some definition of that, that is everyone on this boat. So, Ma Mal, not... you you have a family line. You have powerful secrets being, he being uh, held away from from powerful people. You must mm -hmm. continue your line in order to to keep peace. That's what we've always done. Caldrum intends to forge weapons for the gods. We have the the bearer of Zahir's whip. Yeah. We have yeah. we have the wielder of divine weapons. We are a crew of fate touched. It's not just a coincidence of oddballs, right? What is, I mean, what's the benefit of collecting fate touched? I, I don't know that bit of it. Just that if she's collecting them, we're all on that list. I mean, look at what we can do compared to the majority of the pirates on Darktoe. Yeah, because we're awesome. I think it's the awesome part that is the thing she looks for. Ooh. Who better to have under her control than those touched by fate? And it has nothing to do with, what, the 60, 70,000 gold on our heads? I mean, you know, look. <laughs> Two birds. Same stone. <clears throat> Does this change our plans? Should it? 
Probably not. I've been hunted forever. You know, the only reason I've ever, I even started to pursue the crafting of weapons was from a vision I had once as a child while I was forging in my father's shop. I burned myself and just heard powerful weapons calling out to me. You, you know, Jajal, you might be able to save yourself. The only thing you've got is that weapon. It's not like you're the chosen one or anything. Chosen one of what? I don't know, some deity? <laughs> All you've got is a weapon. You get rid of that blasted, cursed thing. Mm. And mm. I'm, not, I'm not convinced it's actually true. So I was knocked out. I'm almost dead. And the family sword was in someone else's boudoir. And it just came to me randomly and jumped into my hand as I was leaving. So I'm not convinced the weapons aren't part of us or the weapons can't follow us in some weird way. I just, I'm saying, like, maybe it's not Jajal's fate. We don't know. I have questions if his fate is to be tied to that cursed object. I mean, we, we can bury it, and if it comes back, great. But do you want to risk it or no? Wait, why we, don't we, we can to, try. Why do we have to bury it? I mean, if he's actually, like, instrument of a god, we could probably just, like, crucify him right here and now. Like put a pike in the wrong place and then like come back a couple days and see if he actually returns or not. Like if he's actually God spawn, then in theory at least he should come back. Right. Wait, you're talking about me. <laughs> I mean, abstractly. Yes. <laughs> Hold on a second. No, I'm not. Don't, take no offense. I'm saying hypothetically, we could turn this out in multiple ways. What I'm saying is it's such a roller coaster of emotions right now. Oh, yeah, again, like, don't don't take this too personally. We're still kept in kingdom. What I'm saying is oh, man. that the weapon and you are not the same thing. You're not the same part and parcel, are you? Are you? I don't think so. I so, while the, all this is going on, Thola didn't go to bed. She's actually by the door listening to this whole <laughs> conversation. <laughs> He's dropping. And she, she creaks open the door, and she says, and she says, answer the question. Jajal, and she's starting to detect his thoughts. <laughs> so you're casting the spell? Uh, yeah, yeah, my free cast of the day. Um, and she's just going service thoughts, so there's no save. Uh, no, I'm gonna actually go deep with this one. I'm gonna do oh, the, okay. the telepathic feat for this that's one. A, that's a wisdom save, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Man, y'all are being so invasive tonight. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Thola's, I will go... Thola's a lady. Does he have disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a wisdom save? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's going to be low. Of course. <laughs> it's a 10. Oh, yeah, you fail. <laughs> okay. What was the question? It, Mal was like, are, oh, it's not like you you're... Are you a chosen one, or is it just the weapon? chosen one. Are so, you the chosen one of a god, or is it just a weapon? So my answer to Mal verbally is I just really like using this weapon to kill things, and it helps us out. It's a strong weapon, it's stronger than anything else I've ever used, and it's helping us get to where we need to go. Um, as I'm thinking... I'm like to myself, I'm like shit, I don't I don't know what the chosen is. I just I needed to help I needed power to help our friends and that's it. Like nothing was really asked of me. I just need to be myself and you know, I can do these things that I don't know. Magic is cool. I've never got to do this before. I I don't know. I don't know. And then I think of the time at the shack. A little bit. I don't know if Thola is going to stick around and, you know, peek through yeah, that little yeah, flashback. Yeah, I'll probably, like, get your, your, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Critique my, uh. Your mind. Wait, you're, you're, so if you're shifting your to those moments there, I'm looking through and peering Critiquing through. Critiquing the technique. How you felt there and, <laughs> you know. If you're as, uh, replaying as Joel remembers literally being gulled 
the chosen one of Zaheer by... Okay, but that does... I mean, that's... That could be anyone, like, right? Like, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, that doesn't mean I actually, like, took any faith into it. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Free drink. Someone's into me. That's so <laughs> cool. Like, okay, so so to be clear, Thola gets this snake woman calling you the chosen of Zaheer. If probably like probably in a few contexts. Right. <laughs> and does she get your meeting with Zaheer? Mm, I would have briefly thought about the coin thing and then talking to him. But I don't remember if it would have been like the full scenario. So talk like, to him, getting a coin, accepting a deal with this entity. Briefly that, more so on the snake would have okay. been my like immediate thought all right so Thola you get all of that mm. she and we'll so pick up next week <laughs> <laughs> so evil. I like it <laughs> with Thola Smackdown name of the episode right there <laughs> Thola gets real all right those who watch it on Twitch thank you for joining us <laughs> In the insanity, the revelations that all players knew, but no character knew. It's great. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> and we will see y'all next week. Bye-bye. Why? Ah, there we go.